intro, y'all ain't ready for this. The disrespect is real. I don't give a fuck. I'll do it again. I'm not above it. it. I am that snake bitch. No, it's okay. You guys are all welcome to trash queen in the chat. We'll hold a whole panel on queen. I, I am honest to a point, but a lot of the things I talk about aren't true. Wait, somebody not telling the truth on YouTube? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. Got a monster inside of me. You better watch out if you ignite me to rope ahead of full proxy to be the greatest beast the world has ever seen. I feed him every day like the bones clean. I feed him all the hate and he grows me. And he gets caused to a big piss off quick. And if you cross him, you might drop dead. Metaphorically, of course, said to live this war. Never getting bored. Loves the blood and gore. Always wanting more freedom from the source. They don't really understand until they feel the force apart. And if you start shit, you'll be hard. Listen in the darkness. Torn apart quick. You let scars rip. You'll be chewed up and discarded. Me and my friends, we're gonna find you and we're gonna rip you apart like a wizard. Snakes don't get a fucking safe space. If she wants to keep it going, then we'll keep going. If she wants to stop the bullshit, then we'll stop the bullshit. But I'm not gonna fucking sit here and let anybody lie on my motherfucking name. Bring your ass. The fucking link is in the chat. That's your name. Oh, loose booty, wet, handy looking ass boy. Replay that queen. Her name is Queen. It ain't really so much queen, 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 queen B, queen B, queen, queen B, queen, queen B. Okay, there, queen B, queen B's money. Queen B ain't got no money. Queen B. He always fucks some shit up. I don't know why PJ doesn't get his ass on a motherfucking leash and get his ass under control. Fuck. I can feel my heart rate adrenaline pressure. Hit stormy weather, lightning, thunder, pouring weather. Yo, I'm a go getter, try to do it like me, but I do it better. I got a mind that's covered, the beast inside is competitive as ever. I'm conscious, my subconscious, an accomplice to me. I promise the darkness, I can honestly believe. But don't cross me, I might lose control of the lost beast. So, you must away inside with the key control, by fire to fly. And I haven't brought it public, you know why? Because someone that I was fucking close to is in the middle of a goddamn lawsuit. How do I get my hands on your soap? Because I need something to clean these titty butts. My job is just not doing it. Blank your asses. It's simple as that. I mean, I mean, blank it. Blank your asses. Hey, don't get Queen B and her 550, 600 uh, service. Bring their asses out. You might have started it, but I'm going to finish it. Absolutely. Or go to somebody else's panel. Let me just say Queen B's panel. That's what we're... That's, I'm telling you, we all need to go up on Queen B's panel because that seems where everybody's going. I guess Queen B is like the... The god of YouTube. Queen B Escobar, bro. Like, She's in China, just making drugs. <laughs> you know, I run the cartel on the YouTubes. I run the cartel here. You know what I mean? Like, because that's what boss bitches do. Exactly. Keep beefing with the Queen B, because I heard the stinger sucks. This lady, Queen B, with the lip ring, is innocent. You two weirdos are being weird. No, I know who this is. You're the lady that was on Molly Go Lightly. No. You have no doubt QB can hold her own with any female on YouTube. Let me tell you something we all learned a long time ago. I would fuck her up and drag her from here to front. Let me one-on-one. I didn't check their mouth can't cash. Bitch, I didn't write a check. My mouth can't cash. I cash all the motherfucking checks. And I cannot for the life of me understand why people put her on a pedestal. And these allegedly smart people put her on this pedestal like she's something important. We got to tell you about yourself. It's your fucking old lying ass over there. Is her fucking name obnoxiously relevant? Uh, because she <laughs> I know, she like, changed it. She meant to say obnoxious <laughs> and irrelevant. That's what she meant to say. Uh, and coincidentally, it sounds exactly like Queen Bee's voice because, as I've always thought, Queen Bee is using some sort of slight distortion on her voice when she broadcasts. Exposed! <laughs> Queen Bee exposed! Oh my god, bitch. Oh my god, bitch. Did they get that Dugan? Did they get that Dugan? <laughs> That shit chronicles of the shady, you better fucking shut your mouth with that.
Bro, stop. Wow. What in the hell? Someone told Queen B that you said it was her hacking your email. What the hell is wrong with people? Why Take your ass to bed. It's fucking past your bedtime. Go on now. Right? Why you gotta be crying? Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> killing the vibe, bitch. Take right. your ass to bed. Boston, no, I'm not capping at all. I'm telling the whole truth. Good, man. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna skedaddle. You know, I'm gonna skedaddle in the way. Alright. I love you too. Uh, I despise you, Boston. Whatever. Good morning, beautiful. Happy day. Happy day, baby. <laughs> we got trigger the day. I trigger these motherfuckers every day. <laughs> Baby Jesus uh, showed us that, you guys, I swear to God. I know, that's right, because you just put right on that shit. <laughs> yes, I did. Baby Jesus was like, look, look here. <laughs> yeah, fuck the pause. Pause for the cause. <laughs> fuck that pause. <laughs> the meanie <laughs> down, down. I'm just trying to be a better part. I know. Let's see here. God damn it, dude. Can you hear him? Yes, the dog is boring. Damn it, dude. Yeah. Girl, this tea is piping! It's <laughs> piping! Like it's hot! That's just burnt the roof of my mouth! Where's oh, Candy Sue? Where's she at? You heard that like I heard that like. Fire in the hole. Smoke him if you got him. You're, you're like the kind of person that would probably be in the back of the class. <laughs> Fuck you, me too. Ellie's a thug! Right! right. You don't We're all thugs right. around here. Shambles! Thank you for supporting the hot biddies. Y'all wasn't ready for that, was you? <laughs> Wait, no, no, I wasn't, bitch. I was not. I wasn't even close to ready for that shit. All right, I love you, baby girl. I'm gonna jump off. I love you too, baby doll. Yo, what's happening? Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? How's your Friday going? Hey, Miss Rowena. It's good to see you back, girl. We got a lot to talk about. A lots and lots and lots and lots to talk about. We got to do us a little recap. This week has been wild, huh? Wild as hell. Cindy, make sure you're recording because it's going to be about your girlfriend, okay? Your friend that's a girl, Emmy, Emmy, Emmy. We're definitely going to be talking about that because that's some hot, that's some hot, hot, hot gossip right now. Whew. Hot, hot tea, baby. Allegedly with Brittany, I, I heard... Uh, I heard you got a message from old Scallywag Sludge Knuckles. Heard she made you a nice little video. So how to make you a little community tab. You know what I'm saying? I'm lying because you can come hate Bond over here any, anytime you want to. She does the same shit over in Granny's watching. So you more than welcome, baby. Don't let her fucking don't let her fucking bullshit deter you from coming in my chat. Don't do it. Yes, Burnt Toast. She, man, did y'all watch Burnt Toast last night? Yeah, she made a video to you, girl. <laughs> she said, yeah, Queen Bee called you a, a grifter. And I'm like, yeah, she fucking knows that. What the fuck? I've never been fucking, I have never, ever been quiet about that. I've never denied calling her that. Are you kidding me? We got into it over the Kylie Rodney case. Yes, absolutely. I did call her that. I don't, I'm not sure where you got confused. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what she thought. 
I guess she thought that her making that little video was going to deter you from coming over here. Cause um, apparently you got some, you got some hot tea to spill on the deetsies. She really had, she really caught herself trying to give friendship advice. Bitch, I about fell the fuck out. <laughs> I about fell the fuck out. The entire fuck out. I can't believe she even tried it. Holy fuck, Rowena, right off the jump, baby girl. Holy hell. Gifted 50 memberships. Holy sheep shit, Batman. If you got a membership, you better make sure you tell Row Row. Thank you. She kicking off this Friday the right way. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. Go, Row Row. Go, Row Row. She's hooking everybody up. She said, more. We're getting to that 1200. Fuck them. <laughs> We're going to get there one way or another. That was super sweet, Rowena. Thank you so much. So, yeah, uh, guess what? JP knocked another one out here for us. Check this out. <laughs> Check this out. She is killing it, y'all. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with her, but we're going to start off with a motherfucking laugh because I can't. This shit is hilarious, you guys. <laughs> JP is out here killing it. She's out here fucking telling us all the, you know, giving us all the the good deets here. So this one right here, we got to play first here. <laughs> If y'all ain't seen it, look, I'm going to have to share the tab. If y'all ain't seen it, make sure you guys go watch it. Go sub up. Go give her the like. Go, you know what I'm saying? She pops these out every day, every other day. What's up, Ellie Boo? What's up? This is so funny. I, I love that. Like, <laughs> Girl, it's hilarious. I know. All of her videos this week have been, like, amazing. Her sinner and her cupcake one. They're oh, my so God, good. girl. They are hilarious. We got to play some of them. Um, Seeker, thank you for the $10 super sticker, love. I appreciate that. Thank you for supporting the hive. Yes, girl, she is hilarious. All right, let's roll it. Hey, hey, hey. I wasn't going to go live. <laughs> She's yeah, got I wasn't going to go live today because I just got back from the dentist. But <laughs> I was just reading some stuff in comment sections, and I just couldn't wait. So we are going to go over some of the comments that I saw. All right. First, let me just take this dodge out, though, because I just can't handle it. <laughs> oh, I can't handle it. That's better. <laughs> So I was reading MM's chat and there are just some people in there that I need to address because I can't take it anymore. All they do is just sit over there and run their mouths. It's so stupid. They're so idiotic. Just a bunch of narcissists sitting over there running their mouths. A bunch of narcissists. So we are going to Okay, so first one. A bunch of narcissists. Laura's candles just explode. You might as well just buy dynamite. Uh, okay, you fucking idiot. My candles have never exploded, first of all. Second of all, you've never even bought one, so what do you know? You probably can't afford one. Can you? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. Let me know when you've bought one. I'll wait. Okay, second one. Oh, wait. Laura wants to sit there and act like she's a victim. Bitch, please. When have I ever said I was a victim? I have never said that I was a victim. Never. Okay. Third one. Laura's chat sits there and just eggs her on and gets her riled up with lies. Uh, that would be no. Nobody over here does that. Nobody tells me what to do. Nobody sends me anything. Nobody tells me who's saying what. I see it all myself. I go everywhere and see everything. Okay? So nobody in my chat is doing that. So you can just sit the fuck down and mind your business. All right. And so you number can just four, it says that Laura's candle business... <laughs> is tanking because she sends out shitty candles with crooked labels that look like ransom notes. What the fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> ransom notes. What looks like a ransom note to you? Nothing on my website looks like a ransom note to me. I don't even know what these people are talking about. Yeah, let's just start a super chat train. Let's just start a super <laughs> chat train just to piss them off, okay? Just to piss them off, let's just start a super chat train, all right? 
Who wants to be the first one on the super chat train? Yarn? Yarn, you're going to be the first one. Thank you, Yarn. Yarn. Choo -choo. Yarn. <laughs> I can't wait for her. I need her to get the super chat song that she does. You know that super chat fucking song that she made? It's a super oh, chat. A super, super yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah. A super duper <laughs> chat. A super chat. Like we, I need JP to get that song down so we can fucking. Yeah. So we can laugh hard as fuck about that. Oh and she God. does it in her That's baby so voice. I need a super chat. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh. Choo choo. <laughs> Mm, no, <clears throat> that's not it. That's not it at all. I'm not reading these comments because I think that they're true. I'm not reading these comments because it hurts my feelings. I'm not reading these comments to give them attention. They're just so filled with nothing that they sit there and write all this stupid shit thinking that I won't see it. Well, guess what? I do. Let me read another one. Laura is so invested in Queen Bee's legal fund because she doesn't have people that would support her if she needed it. <laughs> Seriously? Out, bitch. Nobody watches Queen Bee's legal fund except for the one person that I task to do it in my Discord. There's nobody else that's doing that. <laughs> nobody else is just sitting there adding it up except, the except for the one person I have doing it. <laughs> my Discord. <laughs> Dude, she kills it, man. Like she fucking gets it's all so the best funny. details too. It is yeah. so fucking funny. Have you seen the one she made about Bet? Oh my god, it is hilarious. Right, JP with the good hair. <laughs> the one person in my Discord. My God, nobody cares. Get a fucking life. God. Crystal coming in with two dollars. Oh, God. I know. I know. It's ridiculous. But just please tell me when I have ever sat in a chat just writing bullshit. Please tell me when I've ever talked shit about anybody. I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait. I know. Oh, what What the fuck are you even doing in my chat? Get the fuck out of here. Nobody, nobody wants you here anyway. Fucking idiot. Oh, see, and I knew that I couldn't even go live without getting upset. I'm not supposed to be screaming because I had my tooth pulled. So I'm not supposed to be screaming or vaping or anything else. But yet here we are and I'm screaming and I'm vaping and I'm coughing and I'm angry. There's nothing else. Okay. My God. I know. Thank you all for the super chats, but I just need to log off because I just can't handle this. Thank you all for the super chats. We'll go live later though. Okay. All right. Probably three more times. Bye. Probably three more Probably times. Probably three more times. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> I was like, oh, so oh my God, she is fucking funny. It's good because she could do other look. people too. You know, she did yes. porn. She did sin. Girl, sin she got her fucking laugh down and everything. I was so fucking shocked that she did her per look. She did her really good. Mysteries, dude. She has like the press pass, the camera. The fucking hat, dude. She's got it fucking going on. Matter of fact, oh, here we go. Oh, good. Here we go. Here we go. Good we morning, my great. beautiful people of YouTube. <laughs> I am out here on location taking a nice walk while I'm on my way to the campaign trail this morning. Yeah. I know I'm always working 24-7, 365. I'm just out here doing what I love to do. <laughs> I know. I know. It is a beautiful day. That fucking laugh, y'all. Right? I swear. Exactly. <laughs> she got it. Down. it. She, like, totally got it. Oh, my God. So I see that shit, and I laugh so fucking hard when I watch it. <laughs> so funny. Look at her outfit. I love her outfit. <laughs> Wait till she got, look, she's got her fucking boots on and she's like, look at my coffee bean pants. <laughs> my coffee <laughs> bean pants. Yeah. Hey, today, I know. 
well, I was, I had to sleep in my car last night. And so I figured that I would get out and I would walk around and I would, you know, stretch my legs and get some fresh air because that's always good for the soul. I read my uh, language of letting go. And then I decided that I need to get out and I need to, to go for a little walk. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going for a little walk today. We're going to walk while we while we figure out what's going on on the campaign trail, I got a couple hours before I have to be there, and that's what we're doing. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of searching for something today, just kind of walking around, see if I see any evidence of anything going on out here. I don't know, but I do, I do have. Hang on, I do have my snake. I don't know, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Is this thing on? <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, here, I'll show you. I do have my snake boots on today. And I got my, look at these. Look at these pants. Aren't those so cute? Coffee club pajama pants. Bitch, Aren't they so I'm cute? Done. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they know what they're doing. They know that they're out here just helping me, you know, Bring, bring awareness and spread the, the awareness and get out on these political trails. Like I'm, I, I, I need to get out there. You know, Trump's not going to win if I'm not there. He's, he's just not going to win if I'm not there. Okay. That's just impossible. He's not going to win. Oh, hang on. I see something. Hang on. Let me take a snapshot of that. Okay. Bitch, I'm done. All right. Yeah, I brought my camera so I could get some B-roll footage. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. That's so funny. I know. I figured that I would just bring you guys on my morning walk because, yeah, yeah, I, I had to sleep in my car last night, but I'm on my, um, now I'm on my way, you know, to get everything done. I'm just walking down the street and I see, yeah, well, actually kind of what I'm looking for is like this, like a big, like a big rock. I can find like a big rock, you know, I just need to find like a, a big, huge rock because I want to paint it. I want to paint it for Trump 2024. I want to paint it so it's just, you know, MAGA all over it. That's what I needed to say. <laughs> I know that's what I need. That is what Bullhorn Betty needs. Oh my God, the laugh is exact. No, the laugh, look, but you know what? You know who else it sounds like? Fucking grain. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I know this match oh last year, but it also matches somebody else. But who? Oh, that's funny. Rain, labia. <laughs> oh my goodness! Today, I didn't even get my coffee yet this morning, so I'm just running a little bit on empty, walking around here. I look, like, probably looking like a crazy lady. I know, I know. It's nuts. It's just crazy out here. Oh, I know. Yeah. So we're just going to get back on the road in a little bit and we're going to head it over to the rally. I got all kinds of people waiting for me at the rally. Yeah. They're all my friends. I love them. I love those people so much. All those people, all of them. I just love them. They're the best. And you, you haters can sit there in front of your computer, but I'm out here 24 seven boots on the ground. 24 seven all day, every day, whether I'm looking for missing people, whether I'm cracking cases, whether I'm supporting Trump, I am out and about in the field. You tell me one other person that does that on YouTube. There's nobody, nobody does it. Nobody works as hard as I do. Be careful out there. You could get bit by a stick. <laughs> I know. I have to be so careful now. That's why I have my boots on because I just don't want to get bit by a snake. But I got to go find a gas station so I can get more coffee. Buy a and dead, then I'm going to buy a dead snake at that. Oh, my God. When uh, she laughs, I will bring you guys to the rally like with me. OK. Yes, yeah, she does. too. That fucking laugh is on point. All right. All right. Yeah. Yep. You guys just have a beautiful day. OK. All right. Buy my coffee beans. <laughs> <laughs> my coffee beans <laughs> dude she fucking kills it man <laughs> she's so funny she's got them down too like she's got like that laugh 
down. That laugh of Betty's is like right on the money. Like that's so, it's so hard to like, she's really good at doing people. <laughs> like, you know, certain people are just good YouTube. at it. I, what was that? Oh, it's the one that, uh, that she does with um, Cindy. <laughs> oh, I love this one. This is awesome. <laughs> and drop and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I think Sinner is trying to say is that there's no need to use our first names. There's no need to be sending us nursery rhyme death threats. I mean, what are you getting out of that? If you're trying to run us off YouTube, it's not working. It's just not going to work. So, I mean, try harder, I guess. I don't know. And then you're sitting there saying, you know, talking about my students, talking about my job. I mean, come on. You're going to have to try a little bit harder than that if you want to run us off YouTube. But that's all I have to say. So I'm just going to let Sinner wrap this up. And then we're just going to get out of here because we have a lot of research to do and a lot of things to do before our live um, next week. We already scheduled it. It's next week. So just make sure you guys check into that. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to hop down. I'm going to let Sinner wrap this up and I will talk to you guys later. All right. Thanks for coming. Bye. Look, after she made this video and we clowned on them, they fucking did it alive yesterday. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, so I'm just going to wrap it up, bro. I mean, it's just basically like this. Like, fuck the hive. Fuck the hive. That's all there is to it. I mean, there's no way other other way to put it. Fuck just the fuck hive. the hive. And uh, <laughs> fuck your seats. I'm not showing you shit. You don't fucking deserve it, bruh. Like, <laughs> bruh. who the bruh. fuck are you to ask me for receipts, bruh? Do you even let nobody. Me, bruh? You're fucking nobody. You're a nobody to me. You're a nobody you in this compose, world. Bro? You got 25,000 members, and you you have, like, 500 in chat. I mean, like, what does that even say? What does that even... <laughs> like, do you, know how, do you know how to YouTube, bruh? Do you even know how to YouTube? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't ah, think you do. Bitch. But yeah, so just you know, stop trying to send fake emails. Stop trying to send death threats in nursery rhyme form, and just fucking concentrate on your own self, bro. Just concentrate on yourself. All right. So you scoundrels have a great day, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Scoundrels have um, a great day. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, she really has like. She is, she is down. hilarious, dude. I like she, she making YouTube great again, 2024. Oh my god, she is. Like I saw that one when I woke up this morning, and I just like it was a good way to start the day. You know, like it's funny. It's just like Fuck I wish yes. I could all yeah, laugh. I'm starting the day with laughs, man. I miss fucking cracking up laughing. Yeah, she's bringing the laughs back. Yay, JP. Hey, while you're up here, I have a quick question. You remember back in October around like Halloween time? When there was a family that needed help, um, and Jones and claimed she was going to help them out with costumes and all that, and people donated. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. I yeah. All that. Okay, I recall. Okay, so when I asked her about it, like what happened with the family, how was Halloween, all that, they didn't end up needing it, and all you know, she said they didn't end up needing it. They didn't. She didn't take them. She didn't get the costumes or none of that because they didn't end up needing it. So then. Um, Thanksgiving rolls around and she does the same thing for the same family. Was that for the same family or was it for a different I, one? Do you know? I, I don't know. I feel, I feel like there was like a fam. I don't, I remember there being like a family that she was helping, like a family. Um, yeah. Like a local family or something. I feel like, I don't. Yeah, well, I mean, you no, know, since we keep wanting to bring up fucking scams and shit's a scam and this is a scam and that's a scam. I just figured I would, you know, bring attention to that. Cause I kind of feel like that was definitely a scam. In my opinion, yeah. I don't, you don't have to agree with it. That's, you know what I mean? But in my opinion, I feel like that's, she scammed her community by doing that a couple times. I think she even did it for Christmas. So I'm kind of wondering why you had, you know, used a family to scam your fucking subscribers. Hey, miss Lisa, what you doing? Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, Look Sorry at this beautiful that. lady. Gab. Oh, I was just letting the cat make a video. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. He, Did you like those, JP? Were you in here just now when we oh, played them Jesus. JP videos? That's why I re Hold on. Let me turn my camera off. That's why I ran in here, JP. That was so fucking Get funny. Me up. JP, I need, I'm going to need you to email me. <laughs> I, have, I have a great idea. Because I myself have a press pass. 
So, you know, I'm a member of the media. I might want an interview. Oh my God. That would be so fucking funny. (laughs) Oh my God. Oh my God. I really really hope you guys would kill it. (laughs) I got some ideas. I saw that and I was like, oh, look, JP's branching out. Her her repertoire is getting bigger. <laughs> now, see, the one she did with Truth yesterday, I don't really know what all happened yesterday with the Truth, but somebody went into Laura's chat and was like, I guess, using her son's name and picture or something like this. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. They had the account U-Haul with her son's picture. So she went the fuck off which very well so i mean i don't know how yeah, if she's got a young it. kid i'd be pissed too you know what i'm saying i don't i don't know i don't know oh, even, i don't even know like no yeah i don't know how thing went down but i know she made one on her and it, but i fucking cracked up but i didn't really know the behind story you know what i mean it's funnier when you know who they are like the the backstory yeah so, i don't um, know who tracy is she did yeah she did one on here yesterday um and it was like a minute long but if i fucking died laughing i mean like she fucking gets into character look i gotta show you it takes a lot to do that i mean people don't realize look oh yeah (laughs) look at her hair look at her (laughs) i don't even oh my god I think like I, okay, I know who Tracy is. Okay, See, I don't know who Tracy is. But, I've so never listened really... to Tracy, but I've I've heard her. I know. Who she okay, is. hold on. It was Makeup Mobsters chat. So okay, so an account under the name of U Haul with her son's picture went into Makeup Mobsters chat and was you know <laughs> fucking around in there. About that, it's mm-hmm. the picture. Right, right. But I'm saying yeah. like this is that's what that's what that's the situation behind it. Well, apparently they Got made it. a comment to um they either made a comment to JP or said something and she said something back. Um something along those lines. Anyhow, this was uh the, the truth. She went live yesterday and was mad as fuck. And so this is her talking, you know, ma, uh doing a parody on the truth um yesterday's live. Okay, look, you know what I just realized? Look at the title checkmate look at her look at what she's wearing yes okay. <laughs> she's into character, dude. she gets so into funny. character and it fucking cracks me up oh, listen look at her hysterical. oh my god it's game on on youtube right now it is game on it is game on makeup mobster it is game on kt or jp whatever your name is it is game on betty because you know what I seen something this morning that I should not have seen on YouTube and ain't none of y'all motherfuckers said anything. I got one win Randy over there and they're talking about how I just became the most vile person on YouTube. Well, guess what? I don't care. It's checkmate time. Okay. It's checkmate time. (laughs) Yeah. Because I'm not going to just send you it with my two one hour lives in my community post. Okay. So guess what? You're going to get what you're going to get. And I don't care. I don't care if it's bad. I don't care who says it's wrong. I don't care anymore. It's checking mate. It's checking mate. It's checking mate. Oh, I don't care anymore. I see. I don't even know what she said. I didn't watch her lives, but dude, her like she gets right in the character. It's checking mate. It's checking mate. <laughs> <laughs> she I, fucking I, kills it, man. I don't even know what she's talking about, but it's hilarious. I really don't. I mean, that's what I said. I just, I just know that they she's said that a, an account under the name of U Haul with her son's picture went in to make a mobster's chat, and she went the fuck off. She did two live streams in a community post. So that's how people knew it was her son, because otherwise no one would have known. Nobody would have known. I, I have um, no idea who it is. I have no fucking yeah. clue. So I, oh yeah, I'd come until, too, you know what I'm mean. saying. So that's what she was doing was a parody of her going live after she seen this account and going live to tell everybody that that's her son's account. Nobody called it out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. No, oh, yeah, I'm not career. laughing about her son being. That's, no, that's no, I'm, I'm laughing at the checkmate and how she oh did it's in the character Hilarious. because like with Laura, she does the blonde hair. You know what I mean? Like she does a different way. She really gets into character. And actually, you know what? I promise you this sends people their way because I am absolutely going to go to Tracy's channel. What's her name? The truth. It's called I the truth. I want to see what she the looks truth. like. 
Right, me too. Yeah, you yeah, want it's called the truth, and uh, she has a channel on here. But I mean, she, like I said, she, I have no idea to be honest what even happened. Like I said, other than that, that's all I really know uh, about the situation. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know who she is. I don't know her channel. Oh God, I'm Jesus. Sorry, let me mute. <laughs> no, she's fucking hilarious with these parodies, though. I Timu, love them. Those bastards. Yeah. That was Timu? just Timu calling me. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand times a day. I want to oh, see my. this Timu unboxing that you've been talking about. But oh, I just did it. Broke. I just did the video. Oh, you just did it? Oh, damn no, it. It's, only the, it's the skirt and the earrings. And the skirt, oh. I really loved it when I, when I, you know what? It's really Flip cute. Flip it on and show it's, us. What the heck? I just did a video. Did you? Okay, go. go we gotta we'll go, go watch, watch it. it. Watch we'll it. Go watch it. Did you put it's it out? You did. The cat took the whole thing over. Oh shit! Yeah, he. But you can see the skirt. But I'm like, can I help you, sir? <laughs> that, that cat has like stalked me all over the house this morning. I guess he was. He misses. Said, he misses uh, Mom, I'm getting videos. on YouTube live. What's she talking about? I'm getting uh -huh. on there too. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm gonna That's why YouTube I titled it. Then. You don't have to be a star to be in Whoopi's show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I. You know what? What? Um, I don't know. I you've been gone for a little while, but um. No, I haven't been gone. I just haven't been in the damn. Well, busy, anyways. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I don't know yeah, if you've heard or not, but. Um, I, was, I was surprised to hear I had left. <laughs> well, not left, but you know what I mean. It's just I been know. busy. That's all I really meant. MIA uh, a little, just, yeah. yeah. Laying low, laying low. Laying low. A lot of people do that, though. You know, you got to do that sometimes. Creeping. I'm, I'm always creeping. You may not see me, me too. but. It might yeah. be gone running there. Her channel might be gone. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't Ooh, follow cool. her. I don't really know much about her. I wouldn't even worry about looking for it because I don't even know. I don't know. Who, you know what I mean? I don't know if she's busy. Somebody just said she's having trouble with her family or something. Something's going on in her family. So I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe she took it down. I don't know. Oh God. Kimberly member for two months. Thank you so much. Love Salma. Let's see. Thank you for the membership. Row, row. Oh, that was really nice of you. Row, 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 row gifted 50 memberships. Oh, we're still that saying. Thank you. Back? Yeah. yeah Rowena's back. Yes, girl. Her. Oh, well, Hey girl. I hope you're doing good. I asked about you. But were you gonna tell me something? Well, yeah. um, I don't know if you. Well, I mean, like I said, I know you've been busy and stuff, but there's a whole lot going on. So I didn't know if you knew about the whole stuff with um, headstones. I didn't want to just pop a video on you while you were up here if you hadn't heard about it. I've seen the, oh, the I've seen tons of the clip channels. Yeah, uh, so it's come to force that she did actually have students in her on her live stream. Um, she actually bribed them to sub to her live stream with um tickets to something at the i like some kind of tickets or whatever and then she gave the tickets away to somebody else so supposedly one of them unsubscribed tickets she tickets actually to, the store. to yeah she was encouraging her students to school start store. a Kind of thing, oh, you know? I was gonna say, how do I get a ticket to the store? I know the school store. Well, you gotta like be to a, buy, like, a twelve or thirteen year old middle well, school student at her school to get it. Yeah. Emmy was, you know, Emmy was my mod. I know. I I don't want to comment on anything with her. My issue is not her. Right. That's that's. You, you, all, you all know exactly what I'm <laughs> saying without saying it. Yeah, so we'll skip over that and just go over that later, you know? I and Listen, I and I didn't even make a cup of coffee, so I was going to do that. But when I saw you had JP's parody up there, I was, I'm trying to get a hold of her. Oh, my so God. Thought, she's so fucking funny, girl. So when thought, you do, well, look, when yeah, you girls get together, you better set it ahead of time so we can all come. <laughs> I, I have well I have ideas. So <laughs> that'll be cool. Like, I think it'll be fun. Well, I knew she'd well, I told you it's funny because I texted you this morning and said, I just want to laugh. God, like, can't we just laugh? I miss laughing. Oh and my god, we miss it. I'm coming on panel. 
Hey, you know, I, what? You know what? I'm going to go make a cup of coffee. That'll take me a few minutes. I'm going to take the dog out and then I'll come back. Oh, okay. You know what? That's what we can, I was going to say, we can go over it while you're yeah. gone or I can let's, go over it later. Let's do that. Cause you, girl, you know, I don't want to. Uh -uh, I don't we, want you in any of that. Um, yeah, it. I'm going over burnt toast, yeah. the stuff that burnt toast talked about. So I don't want to involve you in it if you don't want to, you know what I mean? You haven't even been around. So I don't want to, that's why I said you might well, not. And I appreciate that. And, you know, I, listen, I still, I stay away when there's things that I, yeah. I don't want to get involved in. I, and, well, yeah. And I don't, I don't yeah, blame you because you I, know what? It's there's best a that reason probably that. I don't talk yeah. to her much anymore and it's got nothing to do with her and I'm just right. going to leave it there. Yep. Yeah. All right. We get you. All we right. Well, we back. will see you back here in just a few minutes, love. Come right. back. We love Bye, you. Pussy cats. <laughs> Bye. Bye. How the hell do I get out of here? Wait a minute. <laughs> the I'm not used to, oh, there it is. I'm not used to being on this net. Okay. No, you got it, love? All right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So Burnt okay. Toast was live last night, and we're going to go over some of that. She actually, um, I don't think she had a chance to play Tiger Talk's video, which is what I was yeah. going to So while we're going to, while we're doing that, uh, before we do that, though, there is actually a, uh, a live stream that's still up that um, I will, here, you know what, I'll cover oh. it. But it actually is still up and still uh, because I, we're supposedly going, she's going with the narrative that first it was, these are her kids. So that's what she was talking about, which even she doesn't have kids, but she was saying in reference that they're her kids in quotes. Then uh -huh. it was her niece never came on her channel um, and she never had students there and they never came into her chats or none of that. So then people started making videos. Well, if you go back, there's actually a um chat with her niece in it and uh there's also a video where her niece comes up on panel and talks oh. to her yeah wow i never watched emmy so you know in the past but like a lot of people like would hear things here and there but to hear them all like that like in a timeline yeah it's just yeah it's different well, and I think it was tough for some people because they weren't, you know what I'm saying? When it got brought up last time, it got brought up in passing. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to leave it at that then. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whatever. It, um, it wasn't, there was no like, like video or like, you know, it was just, you could go back no. and find it, but it wasn't all kind of put together like it is to like, and it does have different kind of impact when you hear it from somebody's mouth and then, or when you hear somebody say that it exists, you know? But there's no way they were pieced together. I think now her like defense is that she forgot what she said. She's saying she forgot saying these things. Yeah, there's like three shorty. There's like this three clip channels did things on it. Like, um, yeah, uh, there's a Chroma Chronicles. Talk. Yeah, Chroma Chronicles made a video, and um, No Wire Hangers made a video. So, uh -huh. um, back to back to back. Actually, this is um, this is on her channel, and uh, this is um, her channel, and it's her uh, her channel, her panel, and her mm -hmm. yeah, and her niece. She claims that these are all clipped together, that they're all fake, and they're clipped together, which is the only reason why we even have to share this to begin with. Because she's claiming that these are all clipped together mm -hmm. and that um, that they're not live streams, that they're not actual live streams. Oh, yes, the fuck they are. This is a live stream. You have a chat connected to it. So Anna had said, can I join you? Yeah, you have a fucking live connected. I'm sure you're probably going to delete it now. Go ahead and private it. That's fine. Go ahead and do your thing. Looks like some honey you on, on your stream. And I was like, so do you want to do you want to tell them what you text me earlier? So this is the niece. About how you're you kind of just were here for support and then oh, you remember yeah. that text you sent me well when the mom found out the shit got shut the fuck down and the niece is no longer on the channel oh interesting. um yeah so the the link to we've had the link to that um account for a while oh gosh yeah wow so 
getting worse and worse. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, she did. And that is her channel. That is her live stream on her channel. Just like the live stream where she tried to say that these clips are all, you know, because when somebody gets caught, they usually, you know, they got to try to throw it off in some way, shape or form. Yeah. So well, that was we... they were rolling with. Do you now we have a poll up? This is do you remember what you said a year ago? Yeah. Mm, no, there's a lot of people who don't. But then again, uh, we, we don't, um, you know, sit here and talk about teaching students and, you know, talking about dick with our students and having our students to put their, um, you know, to go like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channels. And I mean, but if you had like a, a channel that had videos from a year ago where you can go back and listen to what you said a year ago, then who cares if you can remember it? It's, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's. Even so here, we're going to we're going to uh, play this one as a brief little. Open. Oh, the poll. Hold yep. on. The poll is over and it 73 percent said yes. <laughs> so. What's up? You're right. Mm -hmm. so I only, only called into part of the stream, so I didn't hear all of this that, that's being mentioned about her niece and her, you know, the children she teaches. What was that about? Yeah, well, okay, so the, the very first time, this is very interesting. I think it was September 19th, maybe it was the 20th. It was the very first time I interacted with, and that was on her panel, because she was mad about, she was mad at Emmy about uh, the Bash thing, Bash going down and meet, meeting with Betty. I mean, that's a whole different thing, but that's why she was mad. And that's she was so lie. mad that she was saying, oh, and, and this girl has her students in her chat. And, uh, so I'm just listening, because at that time, I was in the middle of the road. I, and she did have her students in her chat. She most certainly did. But yep. carry on. In haters as much as I do now. And yes, it's turned into hate. Feelings uh, mutual, little bitch. So I jumped up on the panel twice in one live. The first time I came in really hot. You guys know I can do that. I, I'm emotive. It is what it is. So she booted me. And then I calmed down and I went back up and apologized for, I'm not sure if I apologized. I was like, my bad. I'm more calm now. And I was just like, you have to stop saying that Emmy interacts with her, cho her students and shows them her YouTube channel because that's simply not true simply 100% made up and she's doing it just to discredit her. So right there, that is exactly why these videos are being made and being put out. Because yeah. not only that, you've called me, not only did you call me a liar, but you continued to call me a liar since September or now going yeah. into February. And I let you go on and on and on with your bullshit for a while now. I've let you spew your shit and call me a liar for I don't know how long. You know, so, well, at least in September, when I knew damn the fuck well she had her fucking students in her chat, she says it herself. So I don't know, Sinner. Did you know about it and you just wanted to use it for clout to get, get your channel going? Or did she lie to you, too? Yeah, I'm just good curious. question. Because, I mean, it's one or the other. You either used it to clout chase and build your channel off of me, or you didn't, didn't know the truth and you were lied to as well. So which one is it? Because mm. you look like a big goof-ass fool right now in your own words so i mean let's just get a hundred so i corrected her and and she thanked me thanks for clearing that up i say she was wrong she's like oh my bad i don't know you i'm glad thanks for clearing that up so that was my first interaction with her months ago i'm talking september they were saying there was a student chat i remember that chat so you can say she told her students her youtube channel is emmy's previous job well yeah, if was, emmy's covering true crime and she's given i mean she's not on there if you guys were in Emmy has never covered true crime. She's only covered Betty for the most part. Maybe one or two different things, but that's about it. Obviously, it proves it here. Just watch the screen scroll. I do. I'm sorry, you glitched out. I didn't hear that last part. Yeah. Yes. No, I, I didn't hear the last thing you said. I said I even out. if if Emmy is uh, did introduce her students to her channel. Okay, so um, oh, I said it's not like she's on there cursing and being nasty and vulgar. Yeah. She's covering well, you know local news. Um. Well, if maybe's and what ifs were you know. Pencil and peanuts, we'd all have a great Christmas. But the fact is, it never happened. I mean, if it did, <laughs> if it did happen, I wouldn't be here saying it wouldn't. Like, I, I know that they're running this narrative that I, I'm a liar, blah, blah, blah. But you are, Cinny, and that's why we had to fucking come out and prove it. Yeah. They can't, they can't state one single thing that I've lied about. Not one. I, I challenge them to it because I simply have not. So, I mean, they're so fucking. Challenge accepted. Challenge. <laughs> yeah, you're done, bruh wrong about what they're saying that it's become like almost psychedelic and they there's no way that they even believe this garbage that comes out of their mouths you know they, they feel important and powerful and they have a bunch of dummies that listen to every word they say and it's it's dangerous in my opinion so it's it's become my own personal mission to just to uh dissuade their lies and prove that they're wrong and i will conti continue to do that as long as i have to and i'm not playing nice anymore 
it's not playing nice. Hey, everybody. Um, Sorry, I just like... Not playing nice. <laughs> uh, neither did he we ever? Neither <laughs> are we. Because you, like I said, out the gate started shit. So, again, did you were you lied to by Emmy and you didn't know she had students in her class? Or did you know and use it to clout chase and build your channel off of me? Just you curious. see Gunanya's uh, comment here? In this, that she's even saying that, that, she that what, I, I was just gonna say, wasn't that rich there? Because we kind of got into it over that. She said I was a fucking asshole for bringing that up. Oh, really? Okay. Well, if I'm an asshole, then that tells me you'd like you would allow your fucking children to sit in a class with a teacher that does this kind of shit. So, anyhow, it says I don't know what was said, but just being fair, Emmy's niece has been in her chat back in the day. No one should speak about her, but just saying. Yes, her niece was in her chat. I just showed it. She was on the screen and in her stream yard as well. And I didn't bring it up in any other way to say other than to say she had a minor in her chat. It wasn't like I was speaking on her niece, anything like that. It was pointing out that we all, if you watched her from the beginning, we all knew that she had students and her niece in her chat actively from the start. Yep. So I, I like, it really makes me. Cause in one of the videos she it says, I just, that... um, in one of the videos she goes, we just hit 500 subscribers. In the video with yep. her niece, it's a thousand subscribers. In the live, I'm sorry, in the live with her niece. And the niece was a mod. The niece held a blue wrench. So that means she could see all the nasty comments and all the bullshit going on. Yep. So it wasn't like I was specific, like, it wasn't like I was singling out her niece to speak about. I was speaking on the overall what I had seen from the beginning. Uh, did you not just see the live stream that I put up with her niece on it? Did you? Did you? Oh no! Here, me, you just, let me remind you. Let me let me show you again. I was on a phone call before this. I was having to make arrangements because we got like nine inches of snow. So no, I was late to the party. I just saw my name up on the screen, and I was was like, okay, I guess it's time to come up and get beat up some more. No, here's Nisi Poo right here on her live stream. This is hers. The road to 1K, 100 or 1,000, right here. This is her live. Headstone's live right here. This is hers. Oh, look at this that. See? Oh, right here. So when I first started watching you, mom was like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, Emmy has a YouTube channel now, and I started watching your live streams. And I kind of, you know, now I kind of really tune into the whole live and watch the whole thing. And they're actually really entertaining, and I really like it. Yeah, and, and you're getting to know Betty just like the rest of us. So oh, unfortunately, wow. I am. <laughs> getting to know Betty like the rest of us. This platform, you're supposed to be 13 and over to even be on this platform. So yeah, when you have your fucking niece up on the panel watching this, explaining that she watches Betty... And here's Queen Bella in the chat. Hey, everyone, let's show our guest, Anna, some love. I'm guessing you didn't know she was her 13-year-old niece or 12-year-old niece or whatever the fuck. Guessing we didn't know that. She sounds a lot younger than that. Fuck yeah, she does. <laughs> yes. So as some of you may or may not know, my first video that I ever made was of House of Williams, who Anna, I'm not sure if you are if you know of her. Actually, oh, I think nice. you've seen my video. She's the broccoli head. Um, yes. I did not make her the broccoli head until I think the second video. And that's where I actually met Bash. So that one's definitely included as well. But I hope you enjoy this montage of videos. I'm not going to interrupt while they play because I comment or comment. Yeah. So then she proceeds to leave her up there and continue to go over videos with her up there well thank you for having that clip queen i appreciate it absolutely so back to the video here Take myself out. Hey, Emmy. i'm on my phone so i'm not used to using yeah. my phone for stream yard um so i just wanted to come up because i only heard the clip um laura was just live and, and shared a clip and 
somehow my students being in my chat or knowing about my channel came up, which they do not know anything about my channel. The only thing they know is because I was talking to one of my coworkers about my channel, they asked me what my channel was about. And I said, some lady on YouTube. And another one. Yeah. So. And another lie. And another one. That's all I've said. Have I had students in my chat? No. I actually did start watching a non-case live that Betty did. And because I wanted to see what she was like a year ago. And obviously I know she was the same because I've seen clips of what she's done in the past, but I, I wanted to see how how her demeanor has changed. Hey, good Gumby, thank you for coming. And thank you, good Nanya, for shouting me out and having people come over. I'm almost at 500 subs. And so I have I have a, I have a couple of students who, 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 follow, who me. follow me. Thank you so much for all of you being here. Um, I actually mentioned to my students today that I can't believe that I have the number of people I do listening to me. However, no. Have to watch because I have, I pay for premium on my Emmy account, but not this account. So I always have to watch ads before I watch the lives or other videos for anybody. But this was her actual, she was live, like literally live. And an ad popped up in the middle of her live. And then it went back yeah. to her. Yeah. Every time I've I never seen it in the middle watch, before. Yeah. Every time I go to watch one of her lives, I always. Look, I'm going to just say it right now. And I hope I make myself very clear. I don't want anybody calling her job. I don't want anybody turning her into her job. I don't want anybody doing anything like that from this chat. If I find out you are, you're going to immediately be fucking blocked. And I want no fucking parts of it. I, I think it's bullshit and I think it's wrong. I don't, I don't condone anybody calling her fucking job. She'll, she'll lose her shit on her own. She doesn't need anybody calling and doing anything like that. So please do not do that. Secondly, I do not want anyone in my fucking chat that is 18 or under. You need to be 18 or over to be in my chats. If I find out otherwise, you will be fucking blocked and I will be reporting your account. I do not want anyone under the age of 18 on my streams, in my streams, or in my chat. Period. I don't care if it's your child, your grandchild. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I do not want them in here. I do not want them watching. I do not want anything to do with anything like that. Period. Yeah, she violated so many fucking teachers' ethical rules on it. It's it. Yeah, I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. All I know is I do not fucking want any of that going on. Period. Okay. And it can be fair play. I never had my fucking kids on here. Never had my goddamn niece on here. Never had any motherfucking thing going on. Nothing like that. So go ahead. Spider Woman, that's fine. Fair play all motherfucking day long. I, this is exactly why the fuck you don't bring your kids, your fucking, your children, your students, anything like that on here. Shit, do the ads first before it even gets in it. I don't have YouTube premium, but I don't, I don't know what. Kara, I told my students the same thing. I don't care if you watch me. I don't care. You just just sub for me so that I have more. And wait, what? I only had one. Well, actually, I have two that subbed. Well, let's play that again. Let's run that back. What? You told your students what? Kara, I told my students the same thing. I don't care if you watch me. I don't care. You just, just sub for me so that I have more. And... I only had one. Well, actually, I have two that subbed. And the rest of them just looked at me like I was nuts. That's, that's insane. And it's going to make them jealous, you know? And this. Oh my gosh. So I just saw Bitter Pill to Swallow. I just saw your comment about Betty saying that she was going to get ghetto. And so a few of my students today told me that they, they were watching 
And one of them actually said, I started watching your live when the lady said she was, she was going to go ghetto. And I was like, oh yeah, that was funny because I, I said like, she doesn't know anything about that. And these kids being inner city kids, they. And what the fuck do you mean by inner city kids? I'm going to need an example. What the fuck do you mean by that? Inner city kids. Yeah. So that just caught my eye because they, they know inner city. This lady doesn't. Um, and, and, and she had this, uh, she was serving this, um, a drink in the shot. And so I asked her if I could take some, you know, footage of it and she's not a problem. So I ended up purchasing the drink and the shot for the people because I, I used it for the, um, Oh, Betty. All right. If there's any, if any of my students are in here or I haven't seen just a left. If any of y'all are in here, close your ears. Betty, that is bullshit. You did not just ask if you could take a video of their drink and shooter and then you paid for them for the people that were actually ordering it. I call BS. And unblock you and probably will. But please don't, please to just be respectful of the rules of the chat. That would be really, really awesome. That's true, Remy. I did get a shout out. And I, I mean, I learn from the best. Like, I observed for a long time. That's all you really wanted was a shout-out, huh? I never thought I'd start this channel, let alone have as many subs as I do. But when someone you learn from and admire and respect shouts you out, of course I was fangirling. Are you kidding me? Um, but I, I actually think some of my students might have unsubscribed because I promised them extra, like, tickets for the school store, but I had given them away to other students, and so they got mad. I think some of them unsubscribed because they only subscribe. What the absolute fuck? But there were only two that subscribed, so... Wouldn't you know if your students unsubscribe? Because we can see who subscribes to our channel via our analytics. Yeah. Weird. I because they wanted tickets. And so now that they had their tickets, they unsubscribed. I don't know. But anyways, I now that they got ripped off by their teacher who bribed them to sub to her channel with tickets. Appreciate all of you. I have more people in my chat than Betty did today. So thank you. Even if you're trolls, even if... Yeah, that's because we all fucking supported you. Not anymore. If you're just lurking, we welcome everyone here as long as you have a clean mouth because we have some children that like to stop into this chat. So we keep it clean here. So last day, it was good until the very end. And as I was walking out, it I didn't think I would... It would be... that It would upset me that much. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it was good. The kids came in and they said, what are we doing? And I said, we're not doing anything. As long as you are in your seat and you're not being obnoxious, we'll just, you know, play a game. Or actually, my one class, they, they couldn't believe I had a YouTube channel. And I'm like, well, I do. So they look at it and they're like, oh, my God, you have over a thousand subscribers. And I'm like, I know, right? And so they started watching my videos. And so one of them says to me, you need to start, you need to have different content. Like who wants to watch that lady all the time? I go, well, I do. Cause she's funny. And he's like, but you got, you gotta, you know, start reviewing other people. And I was like, okay. So, um, but I did give him a little, a short lesson on stream yard because they're gamer. I was like, you can make a lot of money. You play games during class all the time. You probably do it at home and people will watch you play games. So 
So here we are trying to promote YouTube to our class, uh, our students. Wow, really. And a live streaming service. Yeah. There's like certain schools that have like um, policies about teachers and social media with their students, you know, that they can't, you know, use whatever, probably these certain platforms. That's what I was going to say. So I talked to my girlfriend that um, she has, yeah, I have a girlfriend that has three kids, a high schooler, a middle schooler, and then an elementary schooler. And uh -huh. I asked about this whole stream yard thing. I said, how would you feel if, boy comes home and says, Hey mom, my teacher today showed me about StreamYard," And she looked at me and she's like, what the fuck are you talking about, girl? She's like, he's been begging me for a stream yard since he was five. And that's about the time that I just looked at her and I went, Oh, so you've already experienced all of this. She's like, yeah, this is Pandora's box. It was opened years ago and it all is going to be contingent on what your school's policy is. So how awful is that? It's all about what the school's policy is because their school, their school actually has broadcast channels and they do a lot of YouTubing stuff because they can get a broadcasting. They can start for a career in broadcasting and journalism in high school. They have a career path for that. So how weird is that? Yeah, there's like, you just have to, there has to be boundaries with all of that, you know? Super scary, um, right, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah, there's no circumstances where a student needs a teacher's drama channel. No, just no. I agree. Ooh, Pecan. That's a great way to put that. Yeah, like why? Trauma, drama, you know? That's a really good way to put that. Yeah, she's teaching our power possible future world leaders and this is her advice like let me teach you Streamyard so you could like use it for gaming to try to make some money as a youtuber <laughs> it's like kind of crazy when you think about it i also liked what burnt toast said last night that it's not a dependable income stream and the risks out weigh the reward because it's like one percent of one percent that actually has one of those gaming channels that comes right up and you know um that's that's scary yeah it's taking over there's to be i feel like i really do feel like the pandemic is part of the I, if anything, there's like what if there was any like blurring of lines they happen because like of zooming, you know, like teachers were zooming with their, you know, it was just a whole different thing. And I feel like people got too comfortable being online with their students. And, you know, if anything, that would be how I would kind of the bigger picture of it all. You know what I mean? Like they like kind of lost their their boundaries with that whole you know change in the world well i do agree with the person that said she's exposing her the, the kids to predators because i mean look at some of the people that have been platformed over here in this sector uh yeah yeah it's a little scary
Yeah, and the bribing, like, oh, I'll give you this if you subscribe. Like, that's just inappropriate, you know? And then not do, and then, like, and then reneging on those tickets. That sucks. They're probably like, fuck you, Mrs. Emmy. <laughs> Mrs. Headstone. Headstone. Right. <laughs> Where are my fucking what tickets? Hell? <laughs> you promised. I signed up to your stupid channel. <laughs> you know, that shit. I want my candy bar or whatever the fuck they were getting. Yes, I was going to say, uh, her poll. Yeah, I seen she manipulated the poll. <laughs> but now she it's like going the other way. It looks like I just went and looked. I don't know. It's like yeah. now people are saying like the real thing. Like, no, you don't remember. every. I mean, truthfully, like unless you have it like, you know, memorialized on your channel where you can go back and listen to it, you know, then it's a different story. It doesn't matter what you said a year ago if you have it friggin on tape <laughs> then you could oh god it's just semantic stuff that people use right oh girl and we know how she does she's she's trying to use this girl she's gonna try to spin the fuck out of this and it ain't gonna work but i feel this timeline is enough for now but um Thank you so much, everybody, for coming in and joining me. I I never thought I would be on YouTube. Um, hopefully, my students aren't in here. I do have some students who know about my page. Hopefully, they're not listening. Um, so I hope everybody has a great day. I'm about to go outside because it is gorgeous out. And until next time, I will see you all on the flip side. I'm almost to 500 subs. And so I have, I have a couple of students who who follow me and so i can't believe when i left school on friday not this past friday the friday before i think i had like 120 subs and i saw just not too low that i'm close to 500 and i'm like oh my gosh like i just can't i can't i can't believe it um, I actually mentioned to my students today that I can't believe that I have the number of people I do listening to me. Um, one of my students told me to get off his D because I asked him to do his work. And so that was really fun. Um, yes. I talked to her like I talked to my students. Um, so for those of you just coming in, thank you so much. Um, I had a great day until the last... 30 minutes when I was cursed out by a girl. Um, and yes, this is how I speak to them. Um, the only thing that's different between how I talk to them and Betty is that I don't use, I don't swear at them. Like every so often I'll swear at Betty. Um, I would never swear at them. And I always, I like, I never yell at them because when you yell, they tend to tune you out or they become even more agitated. Um, I know you did not just say you talked to your students like did you talked to Betty. She did. The fuck is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when someone... when You talk to fucking minors the way you talk to an adult on the internet that you review, that you talk shit about. The fuck is going on? A student says F you I say no thank you And move it along So um, yeah I talk to her like I talk to my students <laughs> Do I have any young Bettys um, Meaning Do I have any know-it-alls I have a lot of know-it-alls They think they know better than adults mm, uh, I don't think so I mean the kids I'm with are pretty street smart um, There's a lot that are book smart as well But they're more street smart Look, hey, Mac, you don't never come in my chat. And the shit I've been hearing, mm -mm, don't come in here starting shit, girl. Uh -uh. Um, I don't think Betty Betty even stands a chance with my 12-year-old students. They would they would annihilate her. Um, yeah. Kara, I told my students the same thing. I don't care if you watch me. I don't care. You just, just sub for me so that I have more. And... I only had one. Well, actually, I have two that sucked. And the rest of them just looked at me like I was nuts. And so a few of my students today told me that they, they were watching. 
And one of them actually said, I started watching your live when the lady said she was, she was going to go ghetto. And I was like, oh yeah, that was funny because I, I said like, she doesn't know anything about that. And these kids being inner city kids, they agreed with me. So that just caught my eye because they, they know inner city. Yes, you're in Emmy's chat, but a creator had their 13 year old grandchild in their chat. Look, let me tell you this. If they have their grandchild in their chat, that's on them. That's on them. That's their grandchild. That is that is their relation. That is not a student. They that she obviously is a parent or grandparent to this child. Emmy did not have said permission from any of these parents to get to put them on her to subscribe to have them subscribe into her YouTube channel to be talking about her YouTube channel to be talking about her life outside of school. You're going to tell me if a teacher bribed your child in school, hey, Mac, you would be okay with that? You would be okay with somebody bribing your child to, to sub up to, to their use? So if they, and let's not even go there if this was a fucking male. Because now let me tell you something right now. If this was a dude, a, a male teacher doing this, holy fuck. Holy fuck. We are holding everybody to the same standards. What someone does on their channel with their children or grandchildren, nobody can say shit about. But when you're a fucking student, when you're a teacher and you're doing this with your students and you have your students on here without the parents' permission, let's not, look, look, you're trying to compare apples to oranges, baby. That ain't gonna happen. It's the produce section, but it's the wrong fruit. Sorry. This lady doesn't. I'm, I never thought I'd start this channel, let alone have as many subs as I do. But when someone you learn from and admire and respect shouts you out, of course I was fangirling. Are you kidding me? Um, but I, I actually think some of my students might have unsubscribed because I promised them extra, like, tickets for the school store but i had given them away to other students and so they got mad i think some of them unsubscribed no it was not an honest question it's an honest you want to try and compare apples to oranges you want to try and you know make emmy look better for doing what the fuck she did and that's not gonna happen that shit's not gonna fly not at all not even a little bit what's up Brittany? what's up stereophonics mom hey uh queen i I'm not going to stay up here. I just, and I'm not trying to derail your love, but I, oh, I literally, fine, I clicked off for a minute because I had, I've been doing housework and I, I listened to, uh, there's another creator that was talking about something. And, uh -huh. um, basically, so I need to address this on your panel. I'm going to talk about this on my own, but I want to say it here too, because I guess granny showed a clip today from a old live stream you had where, uh, maybe voices had mentioned something about that slit that cam that video my kids made. Y'all remember that yep. video? I know everybody for the most part oh, yeah. was in uh, agreement that that was effed up. I even remember hearing clips. Yes, it was. Her, and I told her, her don't send it, don't send it publicly. If you're gonna send it, send it privately. Yep. Right. Well, she's trying to use like a small little clip, and I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't hear the live. It is what it is, but it's a tiny little bitty clip where voices were saying like, maybe, I don't know what you'll have to go listen to it, but she's like, maybe, uh, he's, he's hot, try to air out or something like to that degree. I don't know. It was a snarky little joke. B Tim was like, okay, you know, he, he chuckled and was like, all right, you know, we need, don't need to go there or something like that. Now she's trying to say like, oh, I defended you about your kids, but look, they're over here talking about your kids on Queen's panel. Look what voices said. First of all, t shit happens and, and we move on from it, but I'm not here for people. Well, we're not going to sit here and hold you to the fifth fucking degree because your kid got your goddamn phone and made a fucking video by accident. That's not okay. okay. I'm really sick of that shit being brought up the other night when we you had the granny and Why would you bring your uh, fucking kids up when she doesn't want her kids brought up? Th that's the thing I'm talking about. Why the fuck would you continue to bring that up when there's all kinds of other shit you could bring up? That's all she does. 
It's always about my personal life. Just like just another troll come in the chat the other night over here, bringing yep. up that that cams. Uh, ain't nobody else talked about that. No, and just another nobody. fucking troll came in here talking shit to fucking voices about Granny's fucking kids. And what the fuck did I do? Shut that shit straight the fuck down immediately. I didn't even let voices fucking answer her. Yeah, so I just wanted to put this out for the record on your channel. I what happened in the past is in the past. As long as nobody's hurting me or my kids, I can forgive shit. So trying to pull up all this stuff that's happening, things that were said, it's not gonna work. Like just stop. Well, no, and I know, and I know what it is. Like I said, that it was really fucking hilarious that a video was made. They're fucking pissed off and they don't want you going off and talking about no date C, dates the end. Oh, I do. Well, I'm I'm gonna say this, and this is as far as I can go with it because I, she's I don't want to bring nobody else into it, but there was two people in Deets, if y'all remember. Yeah, we know who the other one is, Starlight. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been one. emailing with her. Yeah, I've been emailing with her. Ain't she your yeah, mom? And I'm, yep, I'm very we close like her. to her. And yeah, and I yeah. told her she's welcome to come up here anytime she wants to. Mm hmm. So, yeah, I do. I know who the real Deets uh, is, and nope. I, and I'm tired of it. People she stop ain't this coming fucking innocent little goddamn fucking perfect motherfucker. I can tell you that right now. No, she very much didn't like me privately, and I know, oh, I'm she aware didn't. of and that. Listen, Little Fires, when that video was made, we were told it was about you. Oh, I yeah, knew it was. And... Panel, but then she goes on your what? panel, and she's like, oh, no, we're friends. Like, everybody's so, like, we're all friends over here not about you at all yeah okay you fucking liar but okay well that right Brittany, there Brittany, i'm sorry that i said something snarky back then about that i also was in i'm sorry i said i'm sorry yeah, I said I, that. I don't even make an excuses yeah sorry i mean it is what it is shouldn't have made it that's all there is to it period there you go water under the bridge voices water under the bridge let me tell you something i've been friends with voices for several months now and you know yeah she does she say some effed up stuff yeah but who doesn't what to what matters to me is the people that actually go and try to to destroy people's lives and you know constantly going after people's kids and shit like that like the stuff that granny does um and but yeah as far as the stuff with deets goes i had people in my chat the other day talking about oh but she defended you she's so sweet yeah. that's the side you know that's right. what you know so but that anyway ain't the shit I, we fucking know we know girl i just wanted to come up though and, and say that uh, you know that's not i know they're gonna try to use that as a weapon it's not working with me and as long as y'all are all right yeah, you know, I, don't I, I would much and rather. Honestly, I don't watch her, so I don't give a fuck what she says. I don't watch her video. Don't watch her lives. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Yeah, yep. and I have more respect for somebody that would be straight. I would much rather align with somebody that would look me in the face and be real with me about how you feel versus right. somebody that will tell me they love me and stab me in the back at the same time. I don't think yep. so. But, or be right, a fucking snake ass bitch and bite you in the fucking goddamn back while they're smiling in your fucking face like Jones and did. Yeah. I can't drive with that. So, no, but I'll no. let you get back to it. Thank you for letting me come up. All right, baby. I appreciate you. All right. Bye, y'all. Call Brittany. Stereophonics mom, you still up here? Yes. All right. What's up, girl? Um, I'll be real quick, too. Um, I wanted to kind of explain her with her inner city kids. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I mean, I would like for her to explain it herself, to be honest with you. You can give me your, your opinion on it, but I don't want you explaining anything for her. She needs to explain it in her own words. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's certain federal loans when you take out when you go to college. And, um, if you. Wait, so you're saying, hold on. You're saying loans had to do with her saying inner city kids. Yes. Making the ref. <laughs> oh yeah. See, I can't with that. Because if you, I don't think it had anything to do with her loans as to making the reference for inner city kids. I'm sorry, Stereophonics mom, I can't agree with that at all. I'm just saying they get paid back faster if you choose to work there. Yeah, but they, their pay doesn't fucking balance on them calling them inner city kids. That's exactly. not uh, exactly. Well, it's like it's very, very derogatory, and it's the same with doctors. You very doctors. much so. 
work. So for her to say that, that was she said it in a derogatory way. She didn't say that to. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not believing. It's awful the way she was doing that. Yeah, definitely is. That's that's what I had to say. It's the same with doctors. If you choose to go work on a reservation, that will help with your loans. And that's all I wanted to say. But it's yeah. really getting on my nerves. So that's all. That's all right, that's love. It. I appreciate you coming up. Okay. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you, love. Bye. All right. Let's get back to it. because they only subscribed because they wanted tickets and so now that they had their tickets they unsubscribed i don't know but anyways i appreciate all of you i have more people in my chat than betty did today so thank you we i met my goal of 232 and just in honor of betty we have 263 people in chat so welcome to all of you even if you're trolls even if you're just lurking we welcome everyone here as long as you have a clean mouth because we have some children that like to stop into this chat so we keep it clean here. Um, there are some words that I don't mind, but some words, you know, we want to keep it a little cleaner than usual. I, had, um, I was sitting there and stuff, and I kind of explained them what I was doing. So I had them make me like these, like a pretty uh, drink, um, and, and and she had this. Uh, she was serving this um, a drink in the shot, and so I asked her if I could just take some you know footage of it, and she's not a problem. So I ended up purchasing the drink and the shot for the people because I, I use it for the. Um, oh, Betty. All right. If there's any, if any of my students are in here, or I haven't seen the left. If any of y'all are in here, close your ears. Betty, that is bullshit. You, I'm sorry, Betty. You're an a-hole. And I would say the word. I don't know if I don't know if Anna's still in here or if I have any of my students in here. But you are a complete a-hole. So you know, I can say douchebag. You're a douchebag. A complete and utter douchebag. For saying the things that you're saying. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. If she's looking to make a lot of money, she, I mean, she could create an only OnlyFans. Or yeah, you hardly I, you hardly ever see super chats coming through anymore. Mm -mm. And my my student, so I was saying how I needed money one day. And one of my students is like, You should create an account on Feet Finder. I was like, <laughs> What? I go, What oh, is God. that? She goes, People buy so hold the fuck on. Hold the motherfucking phone. You're talking to your students about feet fetishes and fetishes and your personal fucking life. Personal finances. So let me tell you this. If told I, if them you needed money. Teacher, so they said the to go to that, a fetish would you be okay with it? Sorry, you were talking over me. What'd you say? Uh, if that was a male teacher, if that was a male teacher, he would have been fired. And probably arrested for sexual fucking harassment. For having conversations with his students about feet finder and fetishes. Yeah. It would be, yeah. It'd be different. What's up, uh, Cap? What's up, right? And dick? Yeah, that's a little too fucking much. What's up, Cap? Cap, what you doing? Hey, Cappy. Uh-oh. she having technical difficulties? Hello, Cappy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Hello. Kathy. laughs> Do you need to reset your wireless? <laughs> there she goes. Reset, she your, reset your tele and come back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They'll pay to buy pictures of your feet. And I'm like, that is what? that's gross. And and I'm like, why didn't you tell me about this sooner? <laughs> obviously, I didn't do it because what? But I'm like, how do they? Well, obviously, the, my, my students know more than we do. I mean, they grow up on technology, but I'm like, I I used to call my students yahoos because they act like yahoos. Like, they're just all over the place. Although there was a fight today, too, in the gym. And it was one of my students, her second day at the school. Yep, it's going to be fun this year. And one of my students says, are you on crack? And I was, and I didn't answer. Cape, are you here? <laughs> Cappy's back. <laughs> Hello, Cape. <laughs> Do we have a voice? Be Tim with the $10 super sticker. 
Let's see here. Is Sinner going to apologize for the lies that he was spreading and be a man about QB um, lying? Will panels that platform the lies help spread it and do retractions? I'll wait. Well, you have to wait in because he. I bet not. Because, I mean, if if Granny was going to do it, Granny just sat on her fucking panel and lied. She would have already fucking done it. B. Tim, you've asked that question three times, and the same answer is I don't think so. Well, he already just said it. I've seen nothing that changes my favorable opinion of Emmy, but it has solidified my opinion of the vampires at the hive. (laughs) (laughs) That's what he wrote. Uh, Because we exposed what your fucking girlfriend was doing? Okay. Sure thing. It wasn't letting me use my mic. I'm sorry. Because I forgot that I was still in fucking... I forgot I was still in Discord voice chat. It was taking the mic away. (laughs) (laughs) Totally forgot I was in there this morning and I I left it deaf and muted. You know what I mean? But, um... So, I just wanted to say, you know, like, Brittany is allowed to be here anytime she wants. And why are we going to call it hate bonding? Isn't it just... A few of us comparing notes about a common denominator. Oh, isn't yes, that, it is. Isn't that what that is, girl? Yeah, it is. That's right. Little Deetsy with the sweet voice. A little Deetsy. Oh, it's so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> oh, my um, God. Deetsy. That's she straight is, up what they said. That's what Nanya said about, like, she All the fucking people up. gathering up, hating fucking queen. It was just uh, people comparing notes about a common denominator, you know? Fucking shit. That's fucking hilarious. B Tim typed another one, said, hold on, hold on, hold on. I messed that one up. Let me type another one. Sorry, messed that one up. Um, but if Sinner was a man, he would admit he was wrong and a liar. But he won't because he is not a man. Men learn from their mistakes and do better. He has yet to do that. Beats him coming in with the motherfucking manly advice. But you know, oh yeah, yeah. on the and subject of beats him, shit, and you a lot, you shit. I'll tell you right now, bitch. I swear to God, fucking. <laughs> while we're on the subject of Deetsy and beats him, she had the audacity to like say that he's like half a man because he got upset on panel. Like, what about her best buddy, fucking Wilford? What yeah. about her best buddy, the glare, when well, he fucking. Wilford. Went off on a bunch of women cussing, calling them cunts, fucking acting like a whole ass fucking drunken, angry toddler. Oh, she got up there it was, was just his feelings. With him. What? She got up there and was screaming about her titty flaps with him. Of course. And we those were his, she was a dick those were his feelings, queen. His feelings. But Tim's just a fucking, you know, he's just half a man. Fucking Okay. She- but she drops in Discord and, uh, you know, wants people to block fucking Swilly Boy and then tries to act like she ain't say that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretends and like she didn't say none of that. They different in that toxic Discord. Quite fake, if you ask me. <laughs> I'd say so. Quite fake. I swear to God. But she left YouTube. You know, she's been gone this whole time. Oh, my God. Hello, dog. Go Hello. <laughs> yeah, that whole, like, comparing Tim to that TikTok rage with, like, um, parents letting their kids, like, have, like, a few minutes in, like, a, a curse room so that they could curse. She was like, that's what you were doing with B-Tim. That was her. Is that like, what she analogy. does with Will? Is that what she that's does with right. the glare? That's what she did with the glare. He needs that. <laughs> he needs that on. He needs that more than anybody, actually. Right? Definitely, he definitely needs that more than anybody. Oh, yeah, he does. Shit. With all the bullshit he does and all the bullshit he supports. Shit. He just told somebody the other day, and then not to, don't even. You know what? Don't worry about killing yourself. It's all good. Just worry about why people would never miss you. That's what Chronicles of the Shade. Oh my God! Say. Really? Yeah. Fuck right. He did. You want me to pull here? Let me pull the screenshot. Oh, that's said, gross. Yes, he did. Just like he told uh, Gelf to go kill himself. Remember that? Or that nobody gives a fuck if he kills himself. Oh, right? yeah. No, I do remember that. Yep. I do remember that. Don't worry. Don't even, you know what? Don't even talk about why you uh, why you would kill yourself. Just talk about why nobody would miss you. Can we just No, that was gross. Okay. I remember that night with Gelf. He was just... like, no, you're not going to come up here and derail the discussion and make it all about you. Yep. Yeah. 
Fuck you and your mental health is what I remember him saying. Oh my god. Yeah. Fuck you and your mental health, Calv. That's what he said to him. Oh my god. He was talking about taking his own life. And yeah, oh yeah. That's that. That's who you stand for, though, right, DT? That was supposed to be his friend, too. That's your bestie, huh? Bestie from the resty. Well, don't forget about the dick pic not that long ago, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't forget about the dick pic, yeah, because, you know, he was a, a victim of, of revenge pee, but I guess when he did it to Frankie Rusick, that wasn't revenge pee. It was something totally different, right? Oh, Kathy, don't get me started down that road, please. Something, something totally different, right? Yeah, she made a fucking fool of herself during her life. Look, fucking... Stupid. Totally fucking stupid. I didn't say it was a scam. I never said it was a GoFundMe scam. Then she hits the play button and they said GoFundMe scam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> made herself look stupid well, no. And then she like made some passive aggressive comment like, look at Granny highlighted where Cappy said it wasn't it that she that she was lying, even though it is true. No, it's not true. You know what's not true about it? Is she claimed that that was your fallout and you hated her because she fucking called you out on that shit. For one thing, we didn't even hear her calling it out, okay? What, what did like, she call out? Because I've never heard her call shit out. Right. <laughs> like, the, the whole, the, Qu the Quentin Simon. Um, she didn't call the, shit out. She stood the, right she didn't there call shit and out. Then listen to this. When BJ did come to us and try to tell us that that was him in that box, we argued with her and told her, no, it was not. No, it was not him in that box. No, it was not him in that box. We had to it, be the one to break it to her and tell her, no, it was not him in that box. It was, you shared the screenshot of what she Billy sent saying, you, right? He, yes, I shared the screenshot of Billy saying that he was in that box. And we had to tell her, no, he was not. And that was another thing that Dietz was wrong about. She was like, I don't believe this is a discussion between Queen and BJ. This is a, yeah. a discussion between BJ and somebody else. No. Well, that shows how much you know, dumb shit. Yeah. And then um, she totally, you know, fueled by crazy, totally leaves out why the fuck we don't fuck with her over here because she was up here lying on all kinds of people. Fucking. Well, I mean, <laughs> she involved herself and lied about the Summerwells case, the Michael Long case of Sophie. I mean, fuck, she tried to involve herself in that 10 times over and tried wow. to say that Tyler Filler and Zav Girl were fucking hiding evidence from law enforcement with Leslie, this video and Laura had the video and Laura called her ass out no matter what you think of Laura Laura was in the right that night they remember she, she tried was. to hang a fucking cam slip over Laura's head and said I know what you look like you fucking blah 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 blah, blah. you had a cam slip blah 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 blah, blah. Like, and Laura Laura fucking turned on her camera right then, like, I don't give a fuck, bitch. <laughs> fucking, like, she made a total ass of herself over here. That's why we don't fuck with her. Not because of the Quentin Simon thing. We didn't even hear her then. We didn't even know she was calling it out. We could care less. She didn't call shit out. She just commented. That was it. Exactly. It was fucking stupid. So that's what I was saying about lying. And plus, she had the whole thing wrong anyway. Yes. Idiot. Um, let's not. Ideas. Catch up, baby. Yeah. Let's not forget, like, she was involved in the Kylie Rodney bullshit because she was supporting Betty when Betty was there. That's when it all came out that, you know, when Be when Betty and Dolly were having problems while they were in Idaho, then it was a case of, well, you got to confront him. Here's what I do to my husband. I wait till his pants are down around his ankles. And yes. then I yes. him his most vulnerable. Yes. yes. So oh, let's my God. That was so cringe. Th that's she called she us doxers. Yes, yes. She called us doxers because yes, like, because her that girl, her her husband came up, no, because her husband came up and said something, and that girl was like, "Get your tell you, you know what? Get your wife." And she was on there. He heard her through the phone or through the computer, either one. Right. And she was like, "You need to get your wife." And he's like, and Bangs was like, "Quit doxing me." Yeah, and then she told me I was a doxer because I read her. Her, when we when we fucking when I called her out on the Michael Long group thing, I read her comments because I asked her first. I said, "Hey, were you an admin in the original Michael Long group?" And she yeah. said, "No, no, I wasn't, Cappy." And I said, "Yes, you fucking were. Is this your comment?" And I read it, and I didn't even read her name because I'm not a doxer. 
And then she got off the panel, went around the community saying I was a fucking doxer for reading out the comment because I busted her ass out for fucking lying. That's why she don't like us, Deeds. Because we busted her ass out multiple times within like 48 hours. She's Avery number two. That's it. That's and all. she's so Avery 2.0. Like, it's not I even funny. That. Right? Totally. She's a changed woman now, my ass. She's yeah, she was so she was 100 percent she's always been. She was 100 percent team quote unquote foul play with the Kylie Rodney case, totally supportive of Betty and all that kind of type of fuck shit. So yeah. whatever. Jane Doe 1 and Jane Doe 2, those stories, those fucking crazy stories. Oh, yeah. God. So fuck with, with Olivia, yes. Yes. Idiot. Ugh. But she's, she's crazy. you know, she's, she, if you listen to what she did last night, you know, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I never got it wrong. I've been a great person all this time through all of this. See, these are all my great co accomplishments that I made. Yeah, it doesn't really look like it worked like that. No, she's fucking ridiculous. And I'm sorry, but like, I know that she is very supportive of Brandy Neal and all that, all everything to do with that case. But I'm, I'm just putting it out there that just, you know, beware. Okay. She's trouble, in my opinion. We're supportive of that case as well. Brandy's got a, she had, um, she was a mod on my other channel. Yeah. Oh no, Brandy's hella cool. I'm just saying, like, because she's being very supportive Brandy's of her and trying to get close to her. To be careful. Be careful. Absolutely, be careful. Well, yeah, because she records phone calls and then puts them out at the most inconvenient moment. And in cases have have been not supportive of families, like, or turn know, on them, or turn on them. So, and it's just very problematic, in my opinion. So, there's that. And if you recall, uh, BJ was a lot closer with Cher than she ever was with us. I'm correct. sure y'all forgot that, though. <laughs> correct, correct. You know, they get but amnesia. The, the short what was term it? memory oh, 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 yeah, sucks. Was the said? She was too high or she was asleep or she was just not paying attention. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Sludge. Let's yeah. And, oh, oh, like, oh you not doing your, your research? Is that what that was? You not doing your research? Really? Yeah. 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 Fucking idiots. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish playing this. <laughs> all right. Hold on. Wait. Mystery said, Brandy begged all on GW's channel to stop mentioning her son's name. Well, I think she said stop doxing and stop doing, um, stop going after each other. Uh, if they're going to bring up Michael's name and stuff like that. She would like him to, you know, bring awareness, not fight over his case and dox each other out and do the shit they were doing. I don't think she meant don't mention his name because Brandy's very, very good about uh, wanting people to spread awareness no matter who it is. She doesn't give a fuck. She just wants people to spread awareness for her baby. And I don't blame her. I don't either. But I know she did ask them and beg them to stop with doxing and the fighting and that kind of shit. Yeah, because it was getting at your crazy. age has to. What, baby? I just agreed. I said that was crazy. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish playing this, baby. Be on crack. Oh what? Although one of my students actually told me today that he he was Danilo. Oh God. And I was like, listen, if you were this escapee and i found you in my classroom my youtube channel would skyrocket and i wouldn't need to work here anymore exactly oh my god they actually like the students don't know what my youtube channel is really oh my they do god. what's up boston what's happening what's up guys um, hold on. I got to read this real quick. B Tim said, hold on. Well, Dietz reviewed the live and turns out she did say QB was part of the GoFundMe scam when that crazy lady was up on panel. But the only thing she can do was add homonym and attacks against me and say, I inserted myself. What a, what an, what an idiot. <laughs> I, I can agree with that. B Tim, uh, Rhodes says this teacher is Fred 
fraternizing her students, introduced them to her drunk, raging boyfriend. Uh, you know, I don't know if she introduced him to her drunk ass raging boyfriend, but you know what? If she introduced him to her channel, then I'm sure they seen the drunk fucking rampages he's went on. Hopefully they haven't been victim to any of them. And I'm sorry, like whatever the reality is about her students, I feel like it's it's not only inappropriate that she's talking about them, but um, when she's speaking in the sense of them being quote unquote inner city, that's fucking offensive, dude. Yeah, it is. Like, oh, they're street. Back in their inner city, they'd fuck her up. Like, are the, you kidding nah. me? That's what she was trying to. That's what she was saying without saying it. But saying, you know what? She she said inner city, and mm -hmm. she said that they would something. I forget what her exact words were, but basically, like, show show what's her name, fucking what's up. Exactly. You know, well, and like she fucking. Said, happy. She said that um, her students know ghetto. Oh my God! She said the G word. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh oh yes. Oh, she absolutely does. Absolutely. Yeah. In she reference does. to her inner city students, her quote unquote inner city students, she even no, incorporated she, the G word. Really? So uh, she says Betty. Betty gets ghetto or something like that. Betty said she was going to go ghetto or something along those lines, and she. Yeah. Oh, well, my students are inner city. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh Jesus Christ! That's fucking really. I'm going to mute. Yeah. Hold on. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, Somebody sent a cash app. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, love. That was really sweet of you. Uh, Miss Voodoo member for 13 months that I just tried to come on panel and I can thank. Yeah, I was, that's what I was going to I was going to tell you to do that before when we could do a private one, but I'm glad it works. Um, She said, yeah, she said it like if BHB showed up, her students would handle her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a bunch I mean. of 12 year olds. Okay, sure thing. Bunch of inner city, quote unquote, but inner city. But they know city. that I have a YouTube. Yeah. yeah, nice. And and uh, Danello Calvacante, that's what she's talking about. Somebody who escaped prison. Yeah. 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 And so PA asked me, well, what do you talk about? And I said, I review this lady. And, and the kids are like, what's her name? I said, Bullhorn Betty. They haven't heard of Bullhorn Betty. But I can tell you that if she was to come to the school I work at, they would tell her a few choice phrases that are inappropriate and I will not repeat. Because today, I don't know what we were talking about, but they said, they go, yeah, that person can go eat a bag of D's. And I'm like, oh, that's inappropriate. I'm As like, as she laughs. Yeah, she is disgusting. Yeah, and that's why I'm saying if my if she came to like talk about her job or her career in front of my students, they would tell her to go eat a bag. Yes, they would. I don't talk about you to my students. This is what I said, and I'm going to I'll say it over and over because some people can't hear very well. I had mentioned to my TA that I had a YouTube channel and my TA asked, what do you talk about on your channel? And I said, true crime cases and I review a lady on there. That is not what she said. She's a liar. This is actually, you notice the date, 9-26-2023. This is the day that me and Senator got into it. This is the day where he came up and tried to say she never said she had her students on her live streams. She never said anything out of, uh, else about her students. Da, 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 da. That's when he came up on my panel and we got into it that day. I just want to know if Sinner knows or doesn't know. Or did know. Or, or, yeah, I'm curious. Or, I, I want to know if he knew it was a lie and he came up just to, you know, cover her ass because he knew it was a fucking lie. Or if he used it to grow his fucking channel to come after me pretty much. Did he get played? Did you get played or did you play along, bitch? Yeah, did you get played or did you play along? 
I think <laughs> it is. And she's I being played. That, at I think this it's point, in that granny clip where he says when when the first time, I think it was like nine three was his first time on Emmys. So I think it's almost I think there's a date in one of these when he talks about it's the first time he came over on Emmys and he knows all about everything. Apparently not, or he's a liar. I'll go with he's a oh. liar, liar. Yeah, he was under those chats. <laughs> and she asked, what's the lady's name? I said, Bullhorn Betty. And my students replied, the fuck? That's it. End of story. So no, I'm not going in there saying, oh my God, do you know what Betty did? Seriously? No. I'm there to teach them math. Actually, so this is an interesting story. So I didn't realize that there was a substitute today because like, like I said, we're so busy. Like we don't, we see each other if we're, you know, in the hall, like other staff, but normally we don't. Well, anyways, there's this, there was a substitute today and she was asked to leave by administration because she was overheard telling the students that they belonged in juvenile detention and other things that you shouldn't say to kids who already have, you know, issues, so to speak. Um, oh, it was, it was, I, I'm going to blame it on the harvest moon, but, um, I mean, it was yesterday was yesterday. Today was like, just like they were hyper, but yesterday was bad, like really bad. I don't think she was boozy. I think she was just a, um, and she only had like an hour left of the day when she started that. Well, I should say there was only an hour left of the day before a student got so upset that they got staff and staff overheard her saying those things. Well, there was even, um, <laughs> because some people shouldn't be teachers. So there was a girl who um, a student said to my TA, you need to fix your shoes. And my TA turned around and said, you need to fix yourself. And the girl was like, what did you just say to me? And my TA said, you heard me. Like you, like you just have to dish it back. And they, it's almost like they respect you more because, you know, they're trying to, trying to rattle you. And if you dish it back, they're not going to keep dishing it out. It was funny. So one of my students was like, Miss, you're really starting to turn into a Karen. You know that? Or some something, I think he was like, you're really turning into a Karen. You know that, miss? And I was like, you're calling me a Karen? He's like, yeah. You're really turning into a Karen. I was like, thank you. So, I mean, I've never been a, called a Karen before, but I was today. There are many more examples of headstones and headlines speaking about her students on her YouTube channel. This is just a few I put together for you. I would be very upset if my child had a teacher that was not only speaking about her students online, but also asking them to subscribe to a YouTube channel that is not made for kids. She even went so far as to bribe her students into subscribing to her channel. I am interested in your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below. Yeah, I think quite a few people are interested to see what's going on. Yeah. And in and, uh, crimes of fashion, I agree 100%. Nothing has, uh, what'd she say here? Not one thing positive has happened for Emmy since he came on scene. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I hope he's worth it. Yeah, uh, Sticky, you know what? I think you're right. Um there's certain stories that are lies. Like she, you can tell when she, you can almost tell when she tells a lie. Like her stories, like them calling her a crackhead. I don't really believe that. I think that's a lie. Yeah. Um, you know, like just, there's just certain little things that you can tell she's lying about, you know? It's just like telling stories to tell stories, take them. Them calling her a Karen. I can believe that because she's, you know what I'm saying? She's like a Karen. I can believe that one. Yeah. yeah I believe that one too. But yeah. But her saying thank you, I don't know if I believe that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I 
because you don't really her say thank you. Them <laughs> with the fucking, her bribing them like she did. I, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that's true. Yep. And I believe yep. that she gave the tickets to another kid and they unsubscribed or got mad at her. I believe that too. What's crazy is that Sinner is actually like sticking up for her and saying that things are being twisted. Like, I don't even know no, how, how is this being. Words. Somebody right? said, yeah, somebody said, I think to me, yeah, that, that she said it's just, uh, it's to, the way they put, they put the clips together was deceptive and they clipped everything. Are you serious? Nope. I mean, if you really said that, nope. come on. Sinner said they what... connected some creepy imaginary dots. What fucking dots? There's not, there's what? no dots to connect. <laughs> what does it even mean? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, Where do you come up with this weird ass fucking shit? I know. You need to step away from the paint fumes, brah. Hey, right. Retro. Did you see Retro's community post today, Queen? I didn't because I'm not sub to her, baby. I don't, I'm not over there very much. I, you know what I mean? I just, I actually just met her the other night. Okay. So I didn't see it. What happened? She got mass flagged and got demonetized. Well, what I mean, was it for like, um, what what was it for? Because I mean, mass flag and I don't, you know, I don't think that really works like that. But how, what, um, what was it for? Reuse content. Let me look at it. I'm pulling it again. Okay. Because I know so, Brittany got hers, but I know Brittany got her fucking monetization back. She put on her thing that she got hers back like the next day or the day after or something crazy like that. are not in line with our YouTube partner program policies. As of today, your channel is not eligible to monetize and you will not have access to monetization tools in the, so it doesn't say, it just says it's a violation of the YouTube partner program. So that could be anything that could be like a mess up with the, you know, um, you would just have to go through your stuff to see what, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, you can always oh, reapply too, but I would go back through there and see, make sure you have all your information put in there correctly. Make sure you don't have two YouTube channels in the both in the same name. Uh, Cause I know that'll flag you if you have two channels that are monetized in two different names, you know what I mean? So I know that'll flag. I don't think because I'm honestly, we, you know what I'm saying? Betty tried to accuse us of mass flagging her. And we never fucking did that either. Molly tried to accuse us of the same thing and we didn't fucking do nothing like that either. You know what I mean? And we went through this with the mass flagging thing, but I do know. So I, I can't sit here and say that that would be it, but I can say that YouTube does fuck with us. And depending on what they have, you only have one channel. Yeah. So depending on what, what um, the guidelines and stuff uh, and what they say, um, I don't know, shoot me an email. We can go over it like me, you and voices or something. Cause I know voices is pretty good with TOS. Yeah. We've, we, I've been looking into stuff on the backside to help her out, but. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Thank you. KNS. Um, she gifted 20 memberships. That's really sweet of you. Um, uh, please make sure you guys um, tell her. Thank you. That's really nice of you. KNS. Thank you so much. Um, what were you saying you were doing on the helping her on the backside? You said just to go yeah. through some and see what, okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. But if, if you're you willing how to do help. the, did you teach her how to go through the, um, Nope, oh, I don't know. Talk to somebody. You know where you talk to somebody on there? Yeah, I yeah, the the chat and stuff. I just I also like I wanted to make sure that we could maybe bridge a communication there because I know that you know some more things that I'm I'm not fully aware of yet. But yeah, anyway. for sure. Yeah, All right, shoot me cool. an email. We'll, yeah, retro. Um, yeah, shoot me an email and we'll go over it. I'll try to help you with whatever I can. You know. Perfect. Thank you. I, appreciate I mean, that. I know it sucks, especially when you, you know, when you just got, when you, your channel's just up and going and you're, you know what I mean? You're doing really good. And then bam. Yeah. It's got to sting. Especially when you don't know the reason. Yep. On our way to 1200. So, Hey, do you guys know who BJ investigates is? We went over it a few times. I don't know if you guys have ever heard about her, but we went over it. She's actually in a, a big lawsuit with Lima is her name now lima is the one you guys remember maddie um madeline yeah. mccann madeline mccann and uh yeah. they came supposedly it was a big thing um that was a big story well then about the same time lima's story with with um amanda had came you know had came to light 
and Amanda Rabb. She ended up passing away. Yeah, from um, soft white underbelly. Yes, soft white underbelly. So it was a big thing. And Lima was actually in a lawsuit. She was suing BJ Investigates. BJ Investigates. Um, she had a uh, one of her fundraisers was up over like three hundred thousand um, dollars by the time this lawsuit was done and over with. So she's been fighting it for almost, I think, I want to say three years. B Tim, you, he knows more than I do about it, but because uh, he he follows it. I mean, like I said, we follow BJ Investigates and. She's got a few channels, but um, this just goes to show you how uh, actually she actually won the lawsuit. Um, it took her it took her this long, but she won the fucking lawsuit. And and check this out, you guys. The attorney is being forced to pay her back her fees and Lima is being forced to pay her back her fees. So Ooh. she's going to be getting over three hundred thousand back. Um, plus. Here, let me see. I want to go. I'm going to pull the video. So I want y'all to hear this shit. This is amazing. I'm like, this, this is fucking awesome. Like, this is really awesome. And it's I, helpful I mean, for you, right? To see that. Oh, I hope it is. It is very helpful because man, let me tell you guys. <laughs> yeah. I hope it gives you a little peace of mind. What? I'm sorry, love. Go ahead. I, I hope it gives you a little bit of peace of mind and comfort that there might be a light at the end of your tunnel. Yeah, man. Let me tell you, uh, because I'm, I'm, man. I bet you, you know who doesn't like uh, watching that video. Doesn't make that very hopeful for her. Knock on wood. Oh, let's see here. Let me see where she puts it. Because she says on here, it, she puts a... Uh, Okay, going live in five. She owes $87,000 court ordered so far. Okay, let's see. Oof. And this was two days ago. We had court yesterday for attorney's fees in Lima's second attempt at a CHRO after the first one she tried to get was stricken as a violation of California's anti slap statute. Let's see here. Because of this third frivolous, abusive, and meritless lawsuit, I will be seeking sanctions against her lawyer and requesting more money from her in court. Eventually, she will learn about the First Amendment, protected rights belonging to citizens in this country, because I will certainly not stop exercising my rights. And she goes over it in this video. She, um, it's actually, it's, it's, pretty damn awesome so this is her she wasn't honest she wasn't truthful the statements she made were untrue so just like betty the statements that she's made are very untrue she's made a lot of very shitty statements one being that she claims i sold crack to children that is defamation right then and there boom because that's never happened i've never sold drugs to children never would and have never ever been accused of it before ever either She said Amanda had Tylenol in her system. She did not. She said she had nothing. This is about Amanda Rapp when she claimed that she had Tylenol in her system. She had all this stuff in her system. She died of a um, seizure disorder. Yep. It was a lie. She did not die of a seizure seizure disorder. She she did not she did not die of a seizure disorder at all. That's not what happened. It's not what happened at all. Um, long story short, BJ goes through it. She goes through the stuff with Lima and Amanda. She had called Lima out for what she did to Amanda. Long story short, like I said, they've been in court fighting their asses off back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. She's had to do the same thing I had to do, uh, raise funds, put out a PayPal, a GoFundMe, cash apps, anything like that she had to do. And her community came through and they helped her. Now, at this point, she owes $87,000 so far. That's just so far. So far. Now she's going after and having the lawyer sanctioned as well. So, yeah, definitely give some light at the end of the tunnel. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. You know, some vindication with all of this bullshit. It's just a lot to deal with. It just goes on and on and on. Like you said, you're, before you know it, it's going to be a year. So 
So 87 is helpful. That's, that's a lot of money. Don't sue somebody for no reason. For those wondering, it's still snowing. And it's cold one now too. It's like 60. <laughs> we got not approximately nine inches overnight. Oh Lord. Yeah, but you know, fantastic. She has her own love for Lady Spears, but whether she's still brilliant and an educated lawyer or something. Whatever makes you that like. Yeah, BJ Investigates is awesome. I mean, it's the same thing. It's just for people who don't understand, you know, how long. I mean, she's been in this lawsuit with Lima for a long time now. She's put a lot of money and a lot of time into it. Her attorneys, Lima's attorneys, tried to, you know, shit she couldn't even hardly afford an attorney i mean half the time she had to do like pro se or she you know what i mean she had to um get money together to hire an attorney to help and she is an attorney oh wow yeah just ricada law ricada law he collected uh he put up a fund uh for a hundred thousand he's an attorney but he hired one to, to defend him so unless until you uh, until you know about a lawsuit or you're in an active lawsuit um, don't speak on it. You make yourself look stupid. Yeah, didn't someone say that it cost 10000 for three years? Uh, I think I remember. Yeah, hearing. some dumbass shit like that. Come on now. Three years, Wish, 10 grand. I fucking wish. <laughs> that would be nice. Wouldn't it? Yeah, so she's lost in court again. I believe this is like the third time she's lost in court. If I'm, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the third time. The time is not a John. Didn't wait back. Oh, yeah, shut the fuck up and sit down about the lawyer cost. <laughs> I hope all the haters watching understand the coin involved. Yeah, they they still won't. Um, but I mean, hopefully that lets them know. You know, like I said, and it gives me a little bit of hope too. Cause damn, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. That Lima and Coach should have never been given the right to use a nonsense and, frankly, dangerous treatment of addicts. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, that was crazy watching that. The VR, virtual reality thing. I was like, what is going on right now? Does anybody have anything good? God, it's been a rough morning. Well, not only that, though, but listen to this. Um, I know Lycan's pretty fucking pissed off or whatever because I didn't let him come up here. Um, I didn't know well, that. And then when I did, he got into it with Father Snuffles, which I don't really care about all that. Like I said, there's, I mean, it is what it is, but I don't really give a fuck um, to hear about him and Granny. I don't really care to hear about their relationship. Anything he's got to fucking say in any clips he sends are fucking old that he's already beat the fuck out of a, he's beat the fuck out of a dead horse for the last year, year and a half. I really don't give a fuck to hear about him and fucking Jess's relationship. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about it. He there were certain things he wanted to fucking come up here and show. Like I said, you got your fucking thing. You you go. Yeah. Nobody gives a fuck about that kind of shit. You know what I mean? So you want to be mad? You can be mad. I don't really give a fuck. I'm like I said, it's not that that was not my intention. Was to, it was not to bring you up and have you just turn it into some fucking bullshit ass fucking all about you and Jess's bullshit. No, I'm not. I don't care about that. Yeah, I just kept seeing comment after comment after comment in the chat. God, he was he, and then, right, and then wanted to fucking go live and talk shit. I don't, okay, well, get mad. I don't give a fuck. This live was not set up for liking. I don't give a fuck. It had nothing to do with him. It was not the, let me let liking up so he can fucking talk shit to Jess. No, I don't give a fuck. 
Now, other people do that. It's been beat to death. The same shit. The same fucking clips of the same bullshit. I wanted people that wanted to fucking come up. You know what I'm saying? That had issues that had fucking, you know. Yeah, relationship is one that's that's off limits. In my opinion, that's off limits. That's like, you know what I mean? You know, well, yeah, like the kid thing. I mean, what the fuck? That is way off limits. God damn. Okay, but her moving on. Let's see here. There was something else I want to tell you guys about. Damn it. Let me think on it for a sec. There was something else I want to tell you guys about. Dang it. Was it a case or was it happenings on the street? Uh, Well, one was a case and one is the happenings on the street. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's the news. It's the news. Hold on. Let me go grab it real quick. Oh, you need to. What? What's up? Spill it. I was just going to say I saw something cute last night and save Robbie's uh, uh, break trauma breaking news. But <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew what it was. I will, go ahead, though. Tell me. Tell me what she was going to say. Well, you should go take a look at it. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> All right, I'll go check Robbie's it out when being, I'm done. Robbie's being a news reporter. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems... Granny has met her match with Queen B. <laughs> oh, hell. He's a news reporter. I'm fucking done. That did it. Okay, look. So there's these things. Okay, so uh, you guys know those Scientology kids that have been walking around like they've been exposing the Scientology stuff, all that bullshit that's going on? Oh, like the one that pushed the guy off the bike and wearing the cape and the crown and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All those guys. So, anyways, one of them has a fucking channel where he um, he actually follows these uh, little bot things around. So they have little bots, and it's called Film the Robots of L.A. That's his channel, and he goes around and films the fucking robots <laughs> and the shit that they do. You guys, look, Film the Robots L.A. Okay, and, and look, and he names them and shit. So these are the new little robots that they're doing for delivery, like. Um, What's that called? The the delivery services where they deliver your food and shit. Oh, I'm having a brain fart, damn it. Well, like DoorDash and yeah, DoorDash, all those. This is what they use. Okay. So okay, look. Okay. <laughs> and um they're dropping them on like college, uh, like college places. Like that's where the tour you see a lot of them at. But this is out in LA. So they're doing like a trial and like a trial air thing with them. You know what I'm saying? Like a rundown. A test run. Okay, a test run. All right. Austin's trauma. Felicia Roll visits the wrong way. neighborhood. <laughs> Felicia. Felicia. I haven't seen you for a while, Felicia. Look at Felicia. Felicia, don't hit the skateboarding. We got one cigarette upstairs. I don't have any cigarettes. Are you going through? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the robot to go out. Okay, so I'm like, how in the fuck does these work? How in the fuck do these work? You know what I'm saying? So then I'm like, how in the hell he actually actually named Felicia? So look, they have like a little garage where they all go to. They all go back to the same spot. <laughs> all GPS. It I'm runs like, on a GPS signal. So look, bitch. I'm like, okay, how the fuck are these running? How are these run? How are they doing this? You know what I mean? I'm like, uh-uh, there ain't no fucking way. Here, let me put this back it uses down. The okay, same, it, it uses the same technology a drone does to fly. No, 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 no. Listen to this. They have a fucking spot where somebody drives it with a remote control. Oh, shut up. I swear They're to God, bro, they have driven. a base. <laughs> They're yes, fucking, they it's like a real life video game. Yes, it is. And that's how they do it. That's how they're doing their, that's how they're trying to train them. Yes. Yeah, those yes. won't work. I was like, you got to be fucking joking me. So then, listen, so you order your food, right? So you order your food and then they give you a fucking code and they're like, okay, here's your code. So when the when the little robot deal comes up to you, you scan the code on the robot and it opens up the top lid and there's your food inside. That's weird. 
I mean, yeah, it's, it's got cool. a camera on it, so you can tell him you didn't get your food. You can't lie to him. You know what I mean? What like, happens say, if it never up. makes it to its end destination? What happens if it gets tipped well, over? They'll know because they're watching it where they're watching it through the camera, so they'll know. It's true, I guess. That yeah. Is not cute. You look menacing. Blank face. Look at it. Look at it. it ain't got no look on his face. Like Hannibal Lecter, man. Oh, we'll make it time. Yellow. Red. Ah, ticket for you. The ticket for you. So the other robots see you encroaching on their neighborhood. They're not going to put up with you. your cousin don't bump it don't assault the scooter don't assault it there you go go up on the grass there you go get off the grass now get off Yo, that's what you are you're a fucking toilet bowl on wheels i'm gonna look the hood and take a dump look at that thing that is not cute you look menacing blank face look at it look at it ain't got no look on his face Hannibal oh, we'll make it in time. Yellow. Red. Ah, ticket for you. The ticket for Damn, you. they make good time. The other robots see you encroaching on their neighborhood. Yeah, so these little fuckers, they fucking fly. Like they <laughs> Okay, here, check this one out. All right, so here's the little thing. Ready? Postmates about six years ago on a pretty big promise. Use a medium-sized robot instead of a full-size car to make food deliveries. Or as Serve likes to put it, why deliver two-pound burritos in two-ton cars? Ways are making sure the tires... I'm at a small, nondescript warehouse. So this is right here. This member I was telling you, they um, I want you to know I am livid. I am a retired New York administrator. Hold on a minute. And I am just... Just filed a complaint on Emmy to the New York Teaching Board for misuse of... Hey, yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. I really wish you wouldn't have done that. I mean, you do what you feel you need to do, but I don't condone that at all. I don't... I don't... Uh, I don't think that you should have done that. Anyhow, back to the... ...warehouse in Hollywood, California, where a fleet of delivery robots are getting ready for their next shift. A few of Serve's human employees are making sure the tires have enough air, the sensors are clean, and the batteries are charged. Serve is running a pilot program with about 50 robots out of this garage slash R&D lab. Each box. And yes, you are blocked in here. Uh, is waist high and the size of a shopping cart. It can carry about 50 pounds worth of food or other goods. And yes, it looks kind of like Wally -E from Pixar. We're the leader in autonomous sidewalk delivery in cities. Serve spun out of app-based delivery service Postmates about six years ago on a pretty big promise. Use it. So they have somebody that goes and checks the tires, goes and checks like the, the um, you know, what's up, LEB? Um, they go check the, uh, yeah. That's so I've seen cool. these little guys. But you know what? That people like, like try to like, um, they steal them. They like hit them and stuff and like take shit out of them like there's like this funny like instagram page that will like has like a whole bunch of videos of people like knocking them over and trying them yes open and shit. They, yes girl they started abusing them <laughs> yeah of course yes they started abusing them uh <laughs> poor little they started robots. kicking them and knocking them over and everything else yeah that person's not from our community because they knew damn well um so yeah they did get blocked a medium-sized robot instead of a full-size car to make food deliveries. Or as Serve likes to put it, why deliver two-pound burritos in two-ton cars? The company is partnered with Uber Eats and makes dozens of deliveries in Los Angeles every day. It's a humble-looking operation, but Serve has big plans. It's going public through a reverse merger with a blank check company, hoping to raise up to $30 million in new funding for 2,000 more robots in multiple cities across North America. There's no question America is hungry for delivery, but robot delivery? There's a lot of excitement and a lot of fear around AI. Things like ChatGPT and self-driving cars are giving a lot of people future shock. Where are we heading with all this? We know where the delivery bots are headed. They're coming to your apartment. 
and they're bringing tacos. Tell me that ain't fucking wild. <laughs> I saw one like going down the street one day. I was like, what the fuck is that? I was like, what's that little thing? It was just like, you know what? Dude. I think one time when I was, wa we were watching Wog, I think it, he pointed out, there goes one of them little robots. And I had to go, I, I went down a rabbit hole. I do, I have known of these before. Now I'm going to look for them. This was like six months ago, at least when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? And then we were talking about it. I remember about people like, I feel like we talked about it once before and showed videos of people like how they break into them and shit. Like you see them like on their side, like poor little things, like been compromised, you know, people are like, and it's probably for what a fucking burri one burrito or two burritos in there, you know. <laughs> uh, hold on, this was just dropped twenty minutes ago. So, uh oh, yes, and it says, please, please do not contact Lima Tequila Tequila or however you say her name, Mora Javermorik or her family. Non-exhaustive. Now, see, I'm not sure what's going on with this, but she says. Please do not contact or send hate to anybody mentioned in this video, including Lima. Lima is abusing me with vexatious litigation and malicious prosecution with the help of her lawyer, Benjamin Kanani. She keeps losing in court and was already ordered to pay over 87000 in costs and fees. But for some incomplexible reason, she keeps retaliating against me for exercising my First Amendment rights. Over the years of reporting on this case, I have issued dozens, if not hundreds, of disclaimers of various kinds in particular i've asked instructed demand and even begged and pleaded with viewers not to contact or send any hate to anyone mentioned in my videos but lima and her lawyer benjamin kanani blatantly ignore these disclaimers in their court filings which are filed with untrue and unsupported accusations about me so i thought we could take a walk down memory lane and just reiterate to it an actually annoying nausea nauseating degree how diligent i have been in my making these disclaimers today i have Amassed more than 300,000. Look, to date, 300,000 in legal costs and fees defending myself and my First Amendment rights. See? From this woman and her Damn. associates. To date, I have not lost a single case and that she has filed against me. I will not stop exercising my rights and I will not stop fighting to defend them. $300,000 in legal costs. You see that? $300,000 in legal costs defending myself. Hey, bro, bro. Hey. Hey, bro. What's hey. up? Hey. I just want to tell you, um, it was so funny yesterday when I was on the uh, airplane back um, from where I was at. Uh, uh, there was an attorney sitting next to me uh, from Illinois. And um, I was telling him, I gave him Bert Ho's channel, and he started listening to it a little bit. He was dying laughing. He said, this, he said, this is great. I said, isn't it? So I was telling him a little bit about it. And um, he was like, yeah, he said, and it, it, he said it's not easy to find. He was a, he's a civil lawyer, too. He said, but this is kind of like a specialized, you know, area of law. And, uh, uh, and it's growing even more, you know, with well, yeah, because these stuff. cases are so they don't know what to do. And there's not very many right. civil, civil lawyers. And that's why when Sludge Knuckles was like, she was having a hard time finding a lawyer. Yeah. There's not very many lawyers that take civil cases like this. Yeah. And I live but in a smaller hey, town. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to have a hard time finding an attorney to take this case. Why do you think it costs me so fucking much money, dumbass? Yeah. It's newer right. territory as Duh. well. Some of this I mean, stuff. How much more do I have? You know what I'm saying? Like, God. Yeah. Gosh. And, uh, People don't get it. I was it. telling him about the whole receipt thing that's been going on since day one and everything. He said, oh, no. He said, you never show your hands to your of opposition. Course. He Boom, said, right you know, he, said, he said, he said, if, uh, if she wasn't having to waste to money, receipt, you want me to fucking lose. That's it. That's yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. And he was yeah, like, no, you, no, you never do that. Never, 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 any never. Any lawyer would say that, right? Yeah. I think any lawyer would be like, of course you don't. It's like, right. Of, like the whole, like. You have to, especially in a defamation loss, come on. I mean, it doesn't really take a lot of thinking to be like, that would be just be a no-no. That any lawyer would be like, no, not a good idea. Just just not right. a good idea, you know? 
Right. Ridiculous. And he said, he said, well, if Queen wasn't, um, he said, well, if she wasn't having to raise money for the lawsuit and she had the money and she was just paying it. He said, would people still be screaming to see receipts? He said, yeah. no. He said, Fuck, so. No, they wouldn't. Fuck right. No, they wouldn't give a and, Well, they probably exactly. would just to say you didn't have an attorney, you know, but. Yeah. He's like, no, you don't do that. But it was real interesting talking to me, you know, actually oh, talking to him. Yeah. Yeah, I gave him I gave him burnt toast channel and I was like, okay. <laughs> go, go back. And I said, he said, Oh, he said, This this is great. He said, Yeah, because he was having to he was having to fly several places and everything. So he's like, Yeah, this this will keep me busy. <laughs> so but um but I was gonna hop up and tell everybody that, hey, I'm glad I'm back, and all the good thoughts and the good, the good vibes I felt, I appreciate it, and uh, I love all y'all, and I missed you, and I got my laugh back, and more important, I got my chair back. So I do care nice. for everybody, and uh, but I just want to hop up and say that. Oh, and those little robot things, girl, they could make a fortune at the beach. Put some of those big beach tires on those suckers. Oh my beach god! Beach tires, yeah, they need some. Oh beach, my god! You know tires. the big, you know, like on our wagon, we've got big beach, you know, big sand tires, you know, for the beach, you know. Unless you, or if not, you have to drag it. But oh my god, they would be great at the beach. You know, just order you a bottle. You know, order a six pack, order a pizza, some tacos. You know, oh my goodness, we don't even have to get dressed be great Rowena I was I was thinking the same thing if they just put some big old uh, studded snow tires on it a little yeah plow, they like that would make a killing especially where I'm, I'm at right now yeah I wish I had they some find you money, on a blanket though you know that'd be hard you would need like some kind of GPS or something for them to find you once you get to the beach you know, yeah, well, you could like send a signal to your phone, you know, and then have them, yeah, yeah, your yeah. Phone. See, yeah, I, girl, yeah, you thought Ellie, about you'd this. be so proud. <laughs> my, my Uber, my Uber virginity got popped on my trip, and my Uber Eats got popped too. I was laying in the hotel by myself, and I was like, I'm so hungry. It was 9 30. I was like, I bet I can figure this out. So, I had a cold oh. McDonald's or a hamburger, it was good. <laughs> So I came home with all the technology now. Oh, I'm ready no. to roll. Look out I'm never face. leaving. <laughs> I've never done that. I've never had either of those nor DoorDash. We don't I'm, have that. I have never done it either. And my daughter does it all the time. And I was like, hey, you know, I, I mean, you do what you got to do, you know, in a pinch. So yeah. it was either that or M&M's I mean. for dinner. M&M's, yeah, from the yeah. machine. And I had those for lunch. So I was like, yeah. Yeah. I needed a, a little slant with a little more substance so yeah but yeah it was so easy voices you need to do it i did it when i sprained my ankle and i couldn't try you know it was like perfect yeah i ordered like pink yeah. berry and stuff well, <laughs> rowena i would have to like found it because we don't have anything like that nothing delivers you'd here. be surprised you'd be shocked look i was in podunk missouri and i found an uber you'd be shocked nope there it Girl, you gotta have I've a Uber in your there's area. A senior citizens, there's a senior citizens transport van. Mm. But yeah. you know what you do have is those wonderful hot springs. That's what I'm like. Yes. I just want to go That's lay what, in that. Yeah, that would be my saving grace today. I feel all of my uh all of my years <laughs> today. I'm like, oh Lord, well, I did do a lot of walking. If I didn't have nine inches of if I didn't have nine well, inches I'm back of snow to flip flops ground, and shorts there and not I'm home. I'm back to flip flops and shorts, man. I was like, yes, home. Home. But I just wanted to tell everybody thank you. Hi. And I did feel all of the prayers and good vibes that were sent out in the universe. And I didn't uh, I wasn't anywhere. So I felt like I hadn't left after a day. I was like, wow, this was the same argument. <laughs> That Emmy students that when I left, but it's good actually seeing the receipt. You know, that's uh, you know, in her own words. So you know, there's that. I did listen to the first thing I listened to, and what 
three, almost four weeks was uh, Burnt Toast last night. I did listen to Burnt Toast last night. Oh, what did you think of that? It was great. It was, she did such a good job. She did such a good job. I love her locales, man. The the laundry blew me away, man. The laundry room, oh my God. That's what I'm doing today is laundry. So, got a week's <laughs> worth of laundry to do. Oh, Girl, I looked around my house and I went, okay, well, <laughs> maybe I need to take care of a few things. That house gave me anxiety seeing it last night. Oh, gosh. That, yeah, that was, oh, my gosh. And him, oh, oh. All the things I just my my I'm a little have a little I'm a little touched with a little bit of OCD about certain things and laundry is one of my little touch things. <laughs> I'm just I was sweating. I was like, oh god, I felt like I was having a panic attack. Yeah, hope y'all all been good. You need to stay warm, voices. You need to stay warm. I'm warm. I uh, I've got. The oven going on bacon today. I'm baking another pie, and um, yeah, yeah. I don't got. I don't have to leave. My uh, roads are so bad that my dog sitting client is gonna uh, just canceled on me, so I don't got to leave um, the house. Yeah, that's good. That's um, good. They're, they're ice, and then they're snow packed, and it's blowing. So yeah. I think I'll pass on driving on them today. We were supposed, where I was at, we were supposed to get six inches the day before a funeral. And I was panicked. And my sister was driving in and, you know, and we didn't get anything. It all went south of us, thank goodness, and had a beautiful day the next day. So it was it was all good. But I hope everybody had a good Super Bowl Sunday and a good Mardi Gras season and a good Valentine's Day and all the things. And I missed all y'all. I missed my, I missed my tribe. So I thought I'd, I'd dip my toe back into YouTube on Queen. So, but uh, yeah, so I'm glad to glad to be back. Dipping, dipping, dipping my toes again. So glad to be back. And I miss John. I miss Ellie's laugh. Huh. I, miss, I miss hearing Willow bark. <laughs> Make her bark. Make her bark. Uh, oh my God, that's that will happen. <laughs> Willow, Willow. Sweet little are now running around. But yeah, so if anybody wants to invest in any money, uh, we'll start up a business down here on the beach and get one of them little robots. It's yeah. um that would be that would be so great. I would love it. There are I'm gonna hop yeah. down, fold clothes and hang up clothes and do all the things, but I'll be listening. I just wanted to say hi, and I will talk to y'all later. Be good up Bye, here. Nina. Bye. Bye. Uh-oh. Unmuted. What? Oh, you? Oh, Queen Bee's unmuted? Yeah. Oh. Let's talk over her. No, yeah, damn it. it. <laughs> uh, look yeah, at that. Dude. He heard Rowena's right. voice. No, it's he heard Rowena's voice. It's snowing. Yeah, she said, I'm on my I know. I had to just had him outside. I had to go shovel off the little back thing for him to get out. It's a lot of snow everywhere, right? My yeah, we just got like, like three, four inches, something, three inches. I don't oh. know. It was enough for him to have cold feet. Yeah. <laughs> Mason come out, did that, realized that there was so much more, and he come back inside. That was the end of that. And about two hours later, he was like, Okay, I can't hold it anymore. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. What did Roro say? Did she get, she jump down? Yeah. She, she, um, she said she watched Burnt Toast last night. And she did she? Was, yeah. Good, and stuff. Good deal. Yeah. Yep, I was out there with Duel. I had to let him out, you know? Yeah, Willow's 
running around too right now. Like a, but when it, yeah, when it rains or I can't even imagine snow, she won't even go out. She's like, nope, <laughs> no, thank you. So funny dogs, they get so prissy with things. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm like, really? You're a dog. What the hell? What? Yeah. Why doing this for you. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I feel like they have us trained, you know? Yeah. Well, that's, right? all, that's all a good, that, that's, be, that's called being a good dog owner. Is yeah. They train us. We don't train them. Yeah. They, they completely put us on their schedule. Oh my God. I'm a sheep in, in Willow's eyes for, for sure. Oh, she, she watches me all day. She just stares at me. Like she's waiting, <laughs> just trying to corral me somewhere. I get it. When uh, I had my tiny little Tucker dog, I had a potty patch um, and we had, we put a piece of plywood and then anchored it. It had hinges. And then I had a pull up on my porch so that all I'd have to do is pull it, the, pull the string down and it would raise the piece of plywood up and give them a dry patch because the one little dog was like the size of Queen's little bean and he wouldn't, he couldn't do the snow at all. At all. So, at all. That's no, hard. there was just wow. like, no, their little toe, their little feet and their little bones just, they just can't hardly do it. Aww. But yeah, he, uh, so I get it. I'm totally, the dog trains me, not them. Right. Totally. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> well, I think about when I'm out taking care of Birdie and Gus, Birdie completely oh, tells you when it's time to go play out in the field. I could see Birdie doing that. <laughs> She's so cute. And if you don't, she starts bitching. Yeah. And we'll just, I mean, she just comes and she, yep, yeah. until you're like, fine, let's go. Because yeah. you, it just, like, she makes it miserable for you. Yeah. She won't stop. Yes, Patricia, that's exactly right. They tell time by smell. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by smell? Like what time of day it is? Um, okay. Say you're normally like, say you leave the house every day at eight o'clock and you come home every day at four. Yeah. So uh -huh. your scent will linger for so long. And like, that's, that's how they know what, like, so later in the day, oh, they can oh, tell got it. time. Oh. oh, interesting. I'm always with Willow, so that won't work with her. She probably thinks it's the same time all the time. <laughs> well, I mean, but she also knows the scent from the last time she had food. Oh, yeah, that she knows. <laughs> right. Because, you know, when it gets ready to be time for her to eat, she starts, hey, you know, hey, are you going to feel, you going to feed me? You going to feed me? Yeah. She eats a lot. Like I actually feed her a lot, but like she kind of like self-regulates. She won't eat too much. Do you know what I mean? Cause she's a border collie. Like some border collies they use feeders on. I've heard, you know, cause they just, they just eat a lot. Oh, they so can. They yeah. Can. Mason free feeds, but that's just, it's a little dog. Yeah. I to make sure that he's got, um, Gus and Birdie free feed too, but yeah, I can see that. yeah. But, oh, she oh, just I said that. Yeah, she has food in her bowl right now. Like she ate part of it, but didn't yep. eat all of it. She knows I'm talking about her. She's jumping on me. Oh my god. <laughs> She's like, Mom, feed me shit. What you doing, guy? <laughs> yeah, why you my food and feeding? <laughs> He's like, there's yeah, gotta be a know. like going back to the going back to the uh having somebody on here. I know some people, you know what? There's some people who don't mind having their kids on here. Like there's some people yeah. who are okay with it. And you know what? More power to you. Um, I just hope that you can deal with the the uh repercussions that come from it because not everyone on here is nice, not everyone on here is compassionate, not everyone on here is going to be okay. 
and be cool about it. And not everybody on here is not going to say something, you know, people will say something, yeah. people will comment on it. So I just hope that you're ready for that when it comes and see that the bad part of it is some people don't even know they'll come on here fresh as hell, like a fucking, then that's usually when you know they're fresh as hell because they do shit like that. You're like, whoa, 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 what in the fuck are you doing? Wait a fucking minute. Hold on. But then some people do it and they're okay with it. And that's fine. You know, I mean, it depends on what your preference is, you know? Well, you saw uh, that school administrators. But I'll tell you right now, if you're a school teacher, you that's not you don't that's not a parental given permission. You are a fucking school teacher. Nothing more, nothing less. You don't give permission to a, a, any child to get on the internet, use the internet, sign up for a YouTube channel, be on YouTube, be on a platform they're not even supposed to be on. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's that's toll. That's a whole different ball game. Encourage them, them to make a fucking gaming channel. What the fuck is that shit? I know. That's not really like teaching our youth of like good things for the future. For us, yeah, no, honest. not at all. Coming yeah. on here, here in center, talk like he does, all fucking drunk and smacked out. What the fuck? Yeah. This is like, he does like just have a lot of hate, you know? Thinks he's better, morally superior to everyone. And well, he's still he's like, yeah. People don't like him and not only that i mean i don't i guess i don't know if emmy sees how bad he's tanked her fucking channel or not i hope she does but i don't think she's gonna see it anytime soon that's when i saw the change truthfully like i never really watched anything. well he admitted it he admitted it on green he's watching he said uh that he he knows he'd cost her a lot of subs he knows he did so then why in the fuck are you even why the fuck would you even linger around then if you gave a fuck anything about her why the fuck are you lingering around then let her fucking go on about her business and do her fucking channel why are you fucking tanking it I feel like he's doing the shit for a reason almost you know what I mean like fuck I mean if I can't have a good channel you ain't gonna have one either yeah fuck, it's me and you against the world like he just said it before uh, when I was watching him in chat. He said, they can't get me, so they are taking it out on others around me. It's clear as day. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? You're, his fucking logic is about as bad as Laura's. It, it's similar. -ish. Yeah. What the fuck? They have dug so deep that they have hit bedrock. <laughs> 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 Does he write these before and just like <laughs> have them ready to go? I don't know. Right? <laughs> bedrock, the town of Bedrock, have a gabba dabba do time, a dabba do time, I have a gay old time. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now. If I walked in and heard my my fucking kid saying, "Oh, I'm on a live stream on YouTube, mom." You're my what? Teacher. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's my teacher, okay. mom. Look, it's my teacher. And guess what? I, I even subbed up to her mom. She even said if I subscribe to her, I get a ticket to the store at the school. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. You know, I would hit the motherfucking roof jack so goddamn fast, boy. <laughs> I might be yeah. in that goddamn chat cussing her ass clean the fuck out. What the fuck? Like you have to learn to censor and to like just kind of have boundaries, things you don't talk about, and that that's the only way to that she should have played it. She should have said that she teaches math and that she's this and she's that. You know what I mean? She gives people too much information, for one. Yeah. You know, and then all of this like that we didn't even I didn't you know I just heard about it. I didn't really know. I never heard it, but like to hear it all like out there like in that timeline is not a good look. I mean, there's people that are really pissed, like that administrator, like that fucking reported her. That's not the right thing to do, but like that's going to happen. People get pissed. Yeah. You know, people just get annoyed and ugh, it's not good because I don't want anybody to like lose their job if they don't have to over something, but she's kind of set herself up for this in a way. Yeah. You know? I Sucks. agree. The whole thing is terrible. Look, hit the like. I tried to warn her. I know you did. Oh, matter of fact, Literal Davis fam's got some really good videos, too. She just... Oh, um, yeah. Uh -huh. she, yeah, she just came out with some good ones here. You know what? And you know what? I, I did hear that that fucking um, Gypsy Rose, she took her whole fucking YouTube channel down, didn't she? For Because she couldn't handle the backlash on it. 
She was getting tore up though. That backlash oh, was bad, yeah. man. I don't think she was ready. She doesn't man, know the like internet it. like that. You know what I mean? She's been in fucking incarcerated this whole time, so she doesn't understand how bad the fucking internet can be. I mean, that's what Emmy should do, or go like get ahead. Hopefully, she well, she got ahead of it with with Bullhorn, right? When she called her school and stuff. But she needs to get ahead of this. Either like take her channel private. I don't know, or tell them about this. Oh, I know? was talking about Gypsy Rose. Gypsy oh, Rose. okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying like what Emmy needs to do. Oh, about like, Emmy. I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. I don't know, she can do it however she she handle her business yeah. however she wants to. She's an yeah. adult. You know what I mean? It was her choice to come on YouTube talking about it. It, that's nobody else had her. Nobody else made her talk about that. Nobody else brought that shit up. Nobody else brought that out. She's yeah. the one who brought it up on her YouTube channel and talked about it on her YouTube channel, invited her students on her YouTube channel, gave her YouTube link to her fucking students. She said she forgot that she said those things. What? She knows she said she for she said them, but she said she she forgot. <laughs> that's her new well that what? doesn't um, make it right. No, I'm not saying it makes anything right. Yeah. Yeah, she's well, too no, I mean, you made up for that. That's quite a few fucking stories to forget. I mean, shit. You well, and if you Mayo, listen she... to the timeline for Tiger Talks, there's more. Those were just... Yeah. Uh, brief example yeah yeah there's a lot more she said she just took the ones yeah watch yeah. everything on her channel goes private well yeah she ain't she, gonna want people to go back and get those clips but then the just same like way she, really her fucking niece on panel. she had her fucking niece on panel and then got pissed off when people said something about it what in the fuck she has a channel and she's up on your fucking panel are you serious you can't be fucking serious. Yeah. Oh, God. These YouTube streets are nutty. Sometimes. You know what I mean? Oh, what's oh yeah. <laughs> when you realize what's really going on. Lord. Let me see. What's up, girl? What up, guys? What's going on? Hey. hey. Back, baby. Oh shit. Let me let me sit down. Did it go away? Um, so. uh, no, you oh, gotta no. play YouTube, baby. Jesus Christ. Here, drop down and then pause your YouTube and come back. Okay. Okay, yeah. Dro uh, pause your YouTube and then come back up, okay? Hit the like said they saw it coming. A surprise it took this long for it to, for, you know. Look, literal Davis fam. She's got some good videos. Clip rules, cash app rules. Who the fuck is Phil? Sinner's docs threat. <laughs> Lemons versus cheese. Phil. Cake cup. Trigger. Lies or amnesia. That's a good one. Amnesia. Literally almost. <laughs> amnesia. She's got some good ones. Because Davis Fam also had a one-sided hate campaign against me on Twitter. And it was my opinion, my observation, that it was being, it was a little bit obsessive or incessant. Like, just too much. You know, Davis Fam continues her one-sided hatred of me for some reason and her main goal to prove me a liar. And again, for what? You, you clearly proved your point the first time, you'd think. Why are you still going through hours and hours of my live streams to prove that I may have misspoke or she did criticize. I did see she criticized the way I said something. What else?
Yeah, it's not content for kids, any of that. No, not at all. What up, girl? Am I better now, guys? Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. All right. What up? Oh, what shit. up? What up, Gab? I'm curious hey, to see how Emmy's going to spin this in the YouTube live. Oh, she's already what, started. She forgot. She's got <laughs> Sludge Knuckle had the same one. They got amnesia. It's gone. It's, it's gone. I just can't remember. But so when I'm, you're specifically yeah. telling somebody something that they said, you know, you're going to be like, oh, that sounds like me. Maybe I did say that. And it's going to like you're you're going to get reminded and allegedly, she swiped her channel clean of all of this shit, not realizing that people already had it, you know? Th that's what I'm hearing, that she, like, Some of it is still up videos. there. She didn't even do her first live until April, so spinning this year ago bullshit is comical. So I said this behind the scenes, right? Like when people have like no doxing and leave kids out of it, like these little YouTube rules that I hear about. And Emmy has been on this platform for not that long. And look at all the shit she's done with literally Davis, the cease and the stis, send in the work email. We all know now Bash was, she was fine with Bash going to troll Betty in real life at a search for a missing person. And that's just what I can think of off the top of my head. Pull FOIA reports. Like, that's a whole lot of real life you're doing in a real short amount of time. And nobody says anything about it. Well, it's being brought to attention now. Yeah, she's going to go with it's me and Sinner against the world. Well, that's cool. Do you? But I was called a motherfucking liar since September and said, Emmy would never say this. She would never, ever say this, let alone do it. Can't even believe Queen B even said that. I hate her for that. Can't believe she even said it. She lied this whole time. Emmy would never. And look, hmm, she did. She sure as fuck did. And she did, and she did, and she did again and again and again, over and over. And all her friends, they're all quiet now. But if this was anybody else, everybody oh, would be firing up the live. Can you believe that she's a teacher and her students and blah, blah, blah? Everybody be talking about it. Hmm. There's something Crickets. going down right now on um, Twitter with SF Investigates. Did you hear about this, Queen? They're talking no, about it. Right it. Tell us about it, baby. Oh my God! There's like he just did drop like a a Dropbox of some important like doc. He bitch, I'm, I'm go like, grab him right now. Let me. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Yeah yeah yeah. You need this. I need, yeah, yeah. I need them bitches. I need them right now. Me. Yeah yeah. It's already like yeah. So there's Dropbox. They're not redacted. So there's no doxing if I miss something. Okay. Um, but he's saying that it's a lot of files. And it has a lot. It's something you'd be very interested in that you could possibly, you, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. accused me of being a government operative and hacking the U.S. Forest Service fire cameras in the Kylie <laughs> Riley case. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. my God, that's so funny to me. Oh, this was during the same period when she and Olivia were allegedly producing fake audio files of witness accounts from the party. Yes, we were just talking about that. And you know who else was involved with that? Bangs. Yep. Ethan. Yep. Furthermore, she attacked and labeled the father and stepfather of a missing person that I'm investigating as frauds by filing actions that required a response from me. She essentially invited me into her life. She has no grounds to claim that the system is against her. In reality, she is misusing the system, and it is solely her fault for trying to intimidate the wrong person. Oh, good. He is on it. Yeah. Wow. But there Here, is send me that. Um, send me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Crazy. I also find it quite ironic that she allowed JLR to pay the filing fee in her lawsuit against Queen B. But when I did the same thing for Kira, she claims it's a federal crime of fraud. 
Wow. Wait, 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 wait. You have proof of that? SF boy. Ellie, let it go, baby. Let it go. Don't yeah, say there's that. other stuff. I won't say anything else, but I just sent it to you, okay? Yes. Yes, girl. SF Look, girl, coming please. in with the clutch. Oh, shit. I'm still here. I'm Hit here. I just. F -A -F -O. I'm just trying to be quiet because I don't want to say something that might. I'm just going to shut up. But I'm still oh. here, Indy. Do you, do you oh, want me to leave? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god it's like all the everything is coming things are coming to light the oh, stuff with, uh, with emmy we're in retrograde too is it retrograde again yeah, we are in the retrograde pretty sure we're just staying in it i think forever <laughs> <laughs> oh, well Oh man. Hey, so, sorry to cut you off, Samantha, what you were talking about. Is she still here? I'm sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Okay. I'm still here. It was like breaking news. Holy shit. Well, if this isn't a pot of gold. Right, skis? It's your birthday, queen. You deserve it's it. Birthday. <laughs> it is not my birthday, man. <laughs> What? Hold on, what? I said a present a present fell into your lap. Yes, it did. Uh, Patricia Bird says it's the Chinese year of the dragon, too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Are you a dragon? I'm a dragon. Oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. I know we're not snakes. Just saying. I made a dragon. Voices, I saw your dragon and that was so cool. Like how you stack it, it makes it look like uh, 3D in a way. Like, you know, you put it, the, I don't know, you stack it on top of each other and it comes alive almost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the, it's the it's the way the SVG file that I use does it. That's it's why it's why I make them in that style because um I love pop up books and um I love pop up books too, girl. Oh, like the best. I am I'm very sad that I lost my pop up book collection Aww. in a series of unfortunate events. But oh, I gosh. used to have a really amazing amazing pop-up book collection um so cute. well I when Queen comes back if she wants to if she drops the screen i can show you the dragon it's right here did you guys hear what i said because i think I, was, I don't know if i was muted about the year of the dragon was i muted i was because i looked down no we didn't hear it what are you i'm a dragon <laughs> i was talking to myself okay the year of the dragon it's like the only like um like of the all all the Chinese signs, Chinese stars cup signs that is like not a real animal, you know. Like there's monkey, there's rat, you know. But right. but it's the only one that's like mythical. So it's like mythological like, creature. Mythological, yep. Mm -hmm. Did I say mythical? <laughs> mythological, yeah. That word. Ooh, Toasty made a community post. Thank you, Pamela. Let's go look. Because I wonder if she saw like Emmy's live today. You know what I mean? Oh. 
I'm experimenting, y'all. Um, I I uh, toaster strudels were on sale, two for five dollars. So I got toaster strudels, and they say that you can do them in the air fryer. So I'm currently doing raspberry toaster strudels in the air fryer. I'll let you know in a couple minutes how they turn out. That sounds good. Yummy. Yeah, I got it totally. Chronicles of the Oblivious. Yes. Um, S S investigates coming through after all of his craziness. Remember with Kylie Rodney when he was like, yeah, but it didn't happen at th that time. It happened at this time. And there was like these donuts going on on the beach. And I I we were like, what? Do you remember that voices with all of that Kylie Rodney stuff and SF investigates? Because. Okay, know. say that last part again. I. I I was turned around the other direction. Say the last Remember, part. Remember, like, SF, and, like, during, like, okay, he said that he saw, like, the fire cam videos that <laughs> but you're saying, <laughs> whatever. But he said right. he saw them on, like, these big screens and that it wasn't the time that Gray and Zab Girl put, were the, right before the last ping. It was at a different time. And it yes. was, like, there, yes. it was on the yeah. beach and there was all these donuts going on. And that's how she went in. I'm like, no, that's crazy. Right? I mean, that was a little bit nutty. Yes. Yeah. I, I do I do remember his suspicion saying he thought it happened that way. Yes. Yeah. And he, like, had this whole crazy, like, theory. And he said, I saw them on, like, and people were saying, like, that he saw them on, like, high-resolution ca cameras. So he knew. Is the conspiracy that a, a lot of people think somebody else was in the car with her? I didn't follow that case. I'm, I'm glad I didn't with all this. I hear about it. But is that what, like, most people think? Someone else was in the car with her? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. I, they didn't find anybody else in the car with her, you know? <laughs> but, like, there was, like, this weird... I don't of, like I don't think I, so. Was, all with all the speculation, I don't think so. Yeah, with all the speculation, I just think like this one woman came up, like that's when I found Queen Bee, this woman, Verna, she came up and she was local and she went out there and she drove it like during the day and at night, like what could have happened when she was coming, there was like this fork and you just get turned around and she went left instead of right. And she ended up like just thinking like she was just driving on the road and before she knew it, she was in the water. Like it happened so fast. And she saw how easy it was because you just see darkness, even the lake, the whatever looked you just yeah, looked like she came down and did a thing with us remember the lady that yeah Myrna. and we Myrna. couldn't even see the water like she turned the camera on and she was standing like five feet away from the water we couldn't even see it couldn't even well, see remember it. when that check it tv guy got himself yeah. stuck water and yeah and he almost yep. went in and he was freaking yep. them out he was like whoa whoa remember he was I'm right on out. the edge and oh my goodness i'm gonna get sucked out and yeah that was crazy and he had like yep. a pretty big well did he have like a bigger car i know like zanime did she had like a bigger car i think he had like a subaru if i remember correctly something of yeah. subaru maybe thank you i think you have to even go like people were saying to even drive on those roads you know there's like a lot of local people that were around. Remember, there was this one interesting guy. I forget his name, but I saw him everywhere, and he was local, and and just people knew like that that could ha like that that it gets so dark there at night, like you can't. It's just you can't see, and it was just like just. Oh, it was shit. awful. I mean, oh. she was yeah. right. I mean, 14 feet off the bank, right there. So I mean, it right wasn't like. There. No in water or nothing like that she was right fucking there right there it's so crazy oh yeah like a subaru or rav4 yeah georgia like a mid-sized thing he that's why because like xanime right. didn't have any problems she had a bigger car i feel like like a you know and then this other girl cctv she it w i think is still probably talking about it with that squirrels on fire people but she went out there too a lot and she like even 
like did this crazy test where she knew that like when the fire cams came out, she knew that she was there at a certain time and looked up that time on the fire cams and saw her lights and shit. It was crazy to like, kind of like, you know, Yeah, Gray. remember Gray when he did the video, Gray pulled the video and made it, made yeah, the video. He used, he used, he used Verna's like um, footage with the fire yeah. cam footage. That was crazy. Yeah. That was, yeah. That, yeah. I remember he came sad. up. He was here when Verna was talking about it and you were playing Verna's like footage and he's like, Can I use this or something? He yeah. asked, I remember. He it, yeah. He, he yeah. asked her and you know, I said, Yeah, use whatever you want to use. I don't you use whatever you need to use anytime. All right, y'all. Toaster strudels in the air fryer. Game changer. Total game changer. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. How, how long do you cook them for? 350 degrees, you cook them for three minutes, flip them, cook them for two minutes. Listen, Done. you know what I started watching was that Josh and Mama, and she does not use any seasoning on anything ever. I like, know. I cannot with her. For she, oh my God. And she fucking cracks me up. Look, every time I see her shit, I'm like, she is such a white lady. <laughs> like, she's white. She's so white lady. <laughs> <laughs> She fucking cracks me up with her fucking dishes, like her meals. Oh my God. I'm like, look, she's like, I can't wait for the family to eat it. Josh, it's like, I don't think any of them are going to eat it. <laughs> I know. He sends her fucking di um, uh, videos off TikTok, like recipes to try. When, look, when she pulled that fucking bread loaf out of a can, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I wanted to gag. I could not even believe it. Bread in a fucking can, yuck. Queen, I saw that. I watched that clip. Did she not heat it up? Did they just eat it straight out the can? I wasn't sure no, about that part. No, she heated it up. Okay. Yeah, she heated it up all right. <laughs> And she heated up her beans or whatever. She, I'm like, oh my yeah, god! Yeah, she you put the pork and beans on top. <laughs> Yuck! I I don't even know how in the fuck she made octopus in the air fryer. That's why I was like, how long did you cook your strudels for? Man, them them ladies, that lady's funny as hell. Anyhow, though, I'm gonna jump off here, and I will. We will. Um, I'll try to jump on here later tonight. If not, I will catch you on the flip side. But I appreciate y'all hanging out. I need to get the document sent over. I need to download it and get it sent where it needs to go. Yep. I downloaded and it. It's a, Friday, so it's a Friday at 2 o'clock here, so I need to get this done, like, right now. Yep. So I appreciate y'all. And thank you guys for hanging out, yeah, ladies. Bye, guys. Thanks for letting me come up. Absolutely, love. Thank you for coming up. Thank you, voices. Thank you, Ellie. I will catch y'all. Thank you, Samantha. And um, everybody in the chat, thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate you. And, um, you know, I got to go send this over to where it needs to go and stuff and get some stuff done. And I appreciate y'all. For those that are in the Discord, I'll meet y'all over there. Have a great day. Have a, yes, download it for sure. Um, thank you so much for sending it too. I appreciate it. Thank you guys um, for the Cash App and the PayPal. Thank you for being supportive, the memberships. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all later. Thanks.